start is recording okay so good evening to all of you uh, today uh, it's Tuesday 5 March 2019 and in today's session of academic writing uh, at first I'll warrant you what we are going to do in today's session uh, this is week 4 so uh, now before that I just want to remind you what sort of tasks you have to uh, upload uh, within uh, this couple of weeks uh, like learning and collaborative section uh, I strongly suggest all of you to write your understanding and post over there do not worry uh, what is uh, exactly what you, you want to write that is not fine also try to post there so that you could able to reflect and you could able to learn what other friends has, uh, or had learned about and what insight they got so I request you to post your uh, understanding uh, in uh, learning activities all learning activities learning activities 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8 this is all about the paper that our friends has present earlier they, they did this presentation and also you may also go through the paper and identify if there are uh, unique ideas and assessing progress uh, this is quiz 2 test your knowledge of model 1 I request you to um, complete that quiz also this is simply quiz uh, 10 questions uh, were there you just uh, respond them and next thing is uh, one assignment uh, still one week time but also I request you to keep on writing and upload your post so that I could be able to reply you in time and lastly there is learner's evaluation of model of learning this is all about the e evaluation of model 1 so what you have learned in model 1 you just respond it so your response is always anonymous so that I could be able to cope up with the new technique in further uh, weeks in today's session uh, we have four sessions in today's class so first session uh, is all about uh, the presentation uh, of, from Ratnan sir. Last time we did presentation, but uh, it was uh, so disturbance because of the network. So he uh, is continuing his remaining presentation in the first session, uh, and his main key key concept is free from errors. Uh, his core focus on grammar and then some mechanics. He will continue. And in session two, our next friend uh, Tilak uh, is going to present the paper internal the art of summarizing. So how to summarize any content, any ideas, any text. So you will uh, enhance our knowledge on that area. And lastly, um, in third session, not last, in third session, uh, Gita Ma'am is going to present the paper the art of quoting. So what sort of quotation and quoting are necessary? Uh, in academic writing uh, she will be dealing on that paper and final session if time support us uh, we will be dealing or you will be busy in completing the assigned task of module 1 so with that saying uh, and also I just want to remind you another thing so this week uh, is all about week 4 and week 5 I request Vishnu Tapangai sir to read uh, this paper and prepare your slide and send me a little earlier so that I could able to provide you some insights, some feedbacks uh, to, to make your presentation more better. And also I request uh, next presenter, Zanak Neopanishar, uh, for the next week. Uh, he's, he will be dealing on crediting sources. So I like uh, citation, reference, why that, that are necessary as for the AP manual. Uh, with that saying, I want to welcome uh, to Ratna sir uh, for today's session. Uh, Ratna sir. Uh, yes, sir. So I request you to share your screen. Okay, sir. I am trying, sir. Uh, did you add some slide of last session or it was of whatever you have prepared earlier? Yes, sir. You add? Yes, sir. I add, sir. Okay, okay. So I, I have posted the whole slide. So do not worry. I'll, I'll update that. Okay. Please share your screen. <clears throat> uh, 
नमस्कार सर नमस्कार सर प्लीज स्टे विद अस आवर प्रेजेंटेशन इज स्टार्टिंग इन अ मोमेंट आर यू क्विकली ओके शेयर सम ऑफ यू द ग्लिम्सेस ऑफ टाइम सो दैट इट वुड बी इजी सर आई कैन आई स्टार्ट सर यस वी कैन स्टार्ट ओके good evening my colleagues and uh, respected sir i would like to continue my presentation some of presentation which i uh, already present uh, presented and some remaining slide uh, about 12 uh, or 13 slides are remaining mm. today i um, present that remaining slide uh, okay <coughs> now the Mm, mechanics of steel regarding this mechanics uh, mechanics of this of steel uh, i would present about the punctuation uh, colon semicolon comma uh, dash abbreviation uh, and it 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 is the it's a uh, spelling after punctuation marks <coughs> sorry spacing spacing after punctuation marks Mm, means there are uh, some punctuation marks we we uh, need to punctuate uh, like comma colon and semicolon after the comma after colon after semicolon we must insert the one space after that uh, similarly periods that separate the part of our reference citation in the reference citation when we put the per period after the period we must insert one space and next one is uh periods following the initials in personal name name uh, for example uh, j r ghang or uh, similarly uh, r r period p period pandey we may also can write here and but one ex, expects exception cases uh, i mentioned here uh, so if this exception uh, i would like to request one my colleague for reading um, the, that this exception uh, i want to like to request uh, lok basnet sir lok basnet sir are you here there He is here, and you he will read it. Okay, look, sir. Uh, he is welcoming. Look, sir. He is welcoming you to read that uh, exception section. Oh, yes. Okay. Yes, sir. Let's do cool or. I I I I think. Uh, okay. Let's let's do cool or. Okay. Next. Uh, next. Next friend. I. Uh, uh, next. Geeta Devi Maharajan, madam. Geeta, madam. uh do you listening you may see are you listening i think may see not listening uh, next um, uh, one friend i uh, would like so to is uh, bhumi yes is listening okay are listen, listening madam geeta yes. madam yes sir i would like like to request you ma'am um, please you read the exception uh, here is exception one example is here please read uh, this uh, exception madam okay you do not insert the space after the internal periods in every verses example a m i e or that is u s around the colon in ratio okay uh, what do you found here madam is we should not insert a space between uh, yes. yes between the for example u u period yes yes thank you thank you madam for your help Um, in that 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 type of the exception case, we not um, we need not be um, insert any type of uh, space space after that. <coughs> so uh, we already know, um, I think, uh, about the periods. Uh, period uh, means full stop. Also, we called uh, use the period to end of the sentence, and periods are used with abbreviation as follow. Uh, use the periods with uh, initial of the name. Initial of the names, abbreviation for United States when it is used as executive Ident, uh, identity uh, counseling level. Identity counseling level for study participants means 
any participant any participants uh, labeled with the, any identity for example FIM is the any identity uh, of the participants uh, in that type of the identity uh, we never uh, we can use um, periods and next <coughs> in the next uh, bullet uh, Latin uh, abbreviation Latin abbreviation means AM IV VS uh, in uh, in that type, type of the abbreviation we must include the period and last one is reference abbreviation a reference abbreviation in the reference abbreviation volume period one second edit period and then comma uh, that type of the in in that type of the uh, example we can use the period and next <coughs> continue i mentioned here <coughs> five bullet under the uh, do not use periods with uh, I request one friend, uh, my sir, sir, please, uh, you can you read uh, this bullet first? <laughs> my sir, sir. My sir, sir. I think he did not listen. Uh, next, I request Prema, madam. Yes, Prema, sir, madam. I what to do, sir? Um, please, can you, can you read? Uh, the five bullet under the do not use period with yes sir do not use Please, period madam. with the following five points are here abbreviations of state names capital letter abbreviations and acronyms epa iq abbreviations for roots of administration i am ip web addresses in text or in the reference list for example this is a link here a metric and non-metric measurement abbreviation uh, like a centimeter kilogram etc exception the abbreviation for inch i n uh, explain yeah, in detail you. sir I, I i could only read but thank i have not thank you <laughs> thank you madam don't worry madam thank you for your uh, supporting me uh, first of all abbreviation we, we we do not use a uh, uh, period uh, abbreviation of state name if any state name which uh, which is uh, also can be written in the abbreviation form uh, at that time, we do not use the use the period means no comma. Uh, and second bullet capital letter, for example, so APA a, uh, APA abbreviation is the abbreviation we need not to be used here. A period P period A. I means I just and, and next uh, uh, IQ we need not uh, we we don't use the period between the I and Q. And and second third one is abbreviation of the uh, root of administ administration uh, root of administration uh, for example I am IP that that are the root of administration just to uh, uh, for example NP NP means uh, we can use the short name of short short form of short form of the Nepal NP uh, edu dot NP means uh, uh, NP the edu we can we cannot use uh, period between the edu and n dot n p uh, similarly we uh, cannot use uh, the web uh, address in the text uh, we we did not use the w uh, full stop w full stop w we do not use that type of the period between um, www or apa <coughs> like that and uh, next uh, metric or non-metric measurement like c dot c um, c dot m is not correct cm is correct k dot g is not correct kg is correct but ex one exception case i mentioned here abbreviation for inch uh, we must we must in uh, put here the period after i n after uh, after i n uh, this is the exception case uh, we can continue next next slide uh, okay comma yeah uh, use a comma I mentioned here from five bullet uh, where we can use comma. Uh, in this slide, uh, this slide uh, also I want to request one friend, uh, Mitra Bral sir. Uh, please, Mitra sir, can you read this, sir? Mitra sir. Uh, yes, please, sir. Uh, please, sir, can you help me by reading this uh, text of that slide? Uh, all right, sir. Uh, use a comma between elements, including before and and the is also repeated. Maybe mistake yeah. here. 
uh, and or in a seri series of three or more items. Yeah. The height, weight, or depth, correct. In a story, in a story by Sensi uh, Newcomb and Bentler, 1991, in correct. Yeah. The separate two independent coach joined by conduction in uh, Ghana. Yes, sir, sir. Uh, uh, yes, thank you. Yes. Please, sir. Please, sir. Okay. Uh, conduction. To set off the year in, in, in exact date of April 18, 1992, yes. what the correct date? The set of the year in par Fer parenthetical parenthetical. What is the meaning? I don't know. Yeah. Reference and uh, is a uh, reference citation. In, I, I I didn't see inside the because your picture is uh, sad sad at me. A uh, citation and uh, yes. only I I see only the 1993. I left yes, the, uh, in between the words uh, and to separate the group of three digit in more uh, in most Must number. I, I don't know the uh, and uh, other I'll uh, set it yes, also. Sir. Okay, okay, sir. Don't do that. Okay. Thank you. Thank uh, you, Mitra. Uh, yeah, thank you, sir. You. Thank you, Mitra, sir, for your right. supporting. Supporting. You. No problem. Okay, sir. Okay, thank Thank you, Mitra, sir. Thank you uh, for reading this text. Uh, also, you help me. Uh, for supporting in my presentation, um, use the comma under uh, uh, under regarding of the use of the comma. I have mentioned here five, which is a uh, which is a uh, citation from uh, this all are from the AP from a manual. Uh, first one is between elements. Between elements. Here I mentioned including including before before end or before hour. I, this is correct because including uh, including comma before 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 end means here uh, in the second uh, example 1919 year is 1991 one in incorrect statement uh, sentence i mentioned here uh, we i not put i do, uh, do not put here uh, before comma before end this is incorrect so we must include comma before end and our before our in the first sentence in the first sentence before our here is comma so it is correct uh, so before and or before our we include comma between the elements this is the first one and second to the two separate the two independent clothes clothes uh, closes joining uh, joined by joined by a conjunction if any conjunction uh, join joined by independent uh, any conjunction joined to independent clause in that time we uh, we can use comma uh, and um, third one is to set of the year in exact date if in exact date uh, for example april 18 is the exact, is the exact date so we put here comma uh, similarly uh, in the in, uh, in the sentence uh, citation uh, reference citation uh, between the parenthesis uh, parenthetical uh, reference citation uh, we can use uh, we can put comma for example um, dahal comma 2017 between the dahal and 2017 we use comma and last one uh, we i think uh, we, are, we are familiar uh, of this this uh, two separate group of three digit in most number of uh, 1000 or more okay i would like uh, to go next uh, slide uh, here i mentioned three uh, bullet under the do not use a comma uh, do not use a comma when we do not use comma uh, or where uh, we uh, if we use comma in in uh, under under this bullet uh, sorry under this uh, 
uh, statement or on the under under the under the example here I mentioned here if we put here uh, comma uh, that is the incorrect uh, so uh, we must aware where we cannot use a comma um, in this for describing this uh, slide I uh, request one uh, sign uh, Prahlad uh, uh, Malva sir uh, please, uh, can you read this uh, text, Prahlad sir? Okay, sir. Thank you. Uh, please, uh, sir. Uh, this, uh, please help uh, me, sir. Uh, sir, I am uh, reading, sir. Okay, uh, sir. Uh, in this slide, um, uh, Ratna sir has made this slide, and this slide says that do not use a comma. In which cases we should not use comma? For that, yes. the first bullet is given there, two separate parts of measurement. For example, eight years, two months. Between these two, we should not use comma. A similarly, second bullet is between the two parts of a compound predicated. As for example, all subjects completed the first phase of the experiment and returned the following week for phase two. And similarly, third bullet is given here. That is, before an essential or restrictive clauses, clause, uh, as for example, the switch that stopped the recording device. Okay, thanks, sir. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Prahlad sir, for your submitting. Submitting now, I uh, explain about this three bullet, bullet um, where we cannot use comma. First, uh, one is two separate part of measurement. Uh, from, uh, for example, eight year, two month. Eight, between that eight year and two month, we need not, uh, we should not uh, use comma here. Uh, similar uh, type of the. Um, cases we should not use uh, and second between the two part of a compound uh, predict, sir, um, predicate uh, uh, two part of the compound predic uh, predicate uh, between the two part means uh, here experiment and return the following week for phase two here first one all subject complete the first phase of the experiment and uh, between the experiment and end experiment and end uh, we uh, should not use because this this uh, is the two part of the com compound predicate or compound st statement or compound sentence. Uh, if uh, that type of the sentence uh, we can, if we can, uh, if if we need to write uh, in that case, we should not use the comma. And last, before an essential uh, essential clause means here is that is the essential clause. Uh, uh, before any, uh, before that type of the uh, that type of the clause, for example, here is that is the essential clause. Uh, before uh, the essential clause, we uh, should not use comma. And next slide, a semicolon. Uh, use a semicolon. Where we can use the semicolon? Uh, I mentioned here the two uh, cases. Uh, first, two separate, the two independent clause. Uh, two separate, the two independent clause that are. Uh, that are not joined by a conjunction. If uh, if uh, two independent clauses are separated and that do not join by the conjunction, in that case, uh, we use a semicolon. For example, here, uh, here one case is, one example, uh, use, we uh, use a semicolon. The participants in first study were paid, semicolon here. Those in the second were unpaid. In that, uh, in that example, uh, two separate independent, separate independent clause that are not joined by a conjunction. Not here is not any conjunction. It joined in this two independent clause through it, it, that type of uh, the clause or that type of the case we should use semicolon. And second uh, rules for using the semicolon is to separate the elements. In a series that already contain comma, uh, for example, uh, red comma yellow comma blue, and then semicolon blue comma yellow comma red, and then uh, again semicolon uh, yellow comma red comma blue. So uh, here are uh, here is the uh, elements which is separated by comma. We already use the comma, and uh, in that type of the example, we use the uh, we use the semicolon. We separate the element in the series. In here, first series. In the first series, red, yellow, and blue is the first series. Second, blue, yellow, red is the second series. And third, yellow, red, and blue is the third series. These three series are here. 
three series of the uh, color add here if we can separate the series of the elements in that case we use semicolon and uh, uh, next one is uh, next is colon colon uh, i think we all uh, are familiar with the colon colon two dot uh, colon is the one punctuation uh, symbol uh, so use a colon uh, where we can use uh, where we must need to use the colon uh, here i uh, mentioned uh, four uh, bullet under the use of the colon uh, uh, this uh, slide i also request tilak uh, khatri sir uh, please uh, can you uh, can you help me by uh, can you support uh, me by uh, reading this uh, slide uh, tilak ji Yes, sir. Please, please, please use read. a colon, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You use a colon. Yeah, sir. In first bullet, uh, between a uh, grammatical link, complete introductory uh, clues and a final uh, phrase or clues that illustrate the uh, preceding thoughts. In second bullet, if the clues following the colon is a complete sentence, it begins with a capital letters. Uh, in example, uh, Bandari 1930 uh, wrote up two uh, urges uh, and urges uh, towards uh, union uh, with others and an uh, ecologic uh, urge towards happiness. In second, they have agreed on the outcome. Informed participants perform better than do uninformed participants. The third bullet is one uh, in ratio, uh, in uh, ratio, uh, ratios and uh, uh, proportion. The proportion was two is to eight. In last and fourth bullet is in conference, in reference between place of uh, publication and publishers. Thank you, thank you, Tilak sir, for your supporting. Uh, Use of colon, uh, where we must use, where we need to use a colon. Mm, uh, I think uh, all my colleagues uh, really understand about the use of colon. Uh, first, uh, is between a grammatically completed introductory clause and a final phrase, a clause that illustrate a, a, a preceding thought. Uh, it, this means uh, between the grammatically completed in, introductory clause uh, and the final phrase. Uh, between the one first one is introductory close and second is the final phrase or final close uh, between that two close that that final close is illustrate the preceding thought means preceding thought means grammatically introductory close means first close is the introductory close and second close which help to predicting the thought about the first close 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 between the first and that second close we use the colon and second uh, is the if the close of the following uh, in the in the close in close following the, following the colon if the close following the following the colon is a complete uh, is a complete sentence means uh, this second uh, is the uh, second rule is the now, if the close following the colon is a complete sentence, means for second close help to complete the first uh, help to complete the first close. In the case of uh, in 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 the in the case where the second close help to complete the sentence of the first close. In that case, we use the colon. Means here, Fandari 1930 wrote the two of this two of this. Two argues means argues argues but uh, two argues not complete here uh, in in here not complete so this colon help to this colon uh, after that after the colo, uh, uh, colon and argues toward union with others and an uh, egoistic uh, argue uh, argue towards happiness. Uh, 
after the colon here uh, and argued to add the union with other and uh, egoistic argued to add the happiness this help to the meaning or sorry meaning sorry uh, meaning of the uh, uh, previous uh, clause means uh, bhandari 1930 wrote to argue uh, args after um, after this <coughs> colon <coughs> after the text after the after the, after the, uh, the text uh, text which helped uh, which helped the um, total meaning sorry complete meaning of the uh, first preceding clause in that case we use <coughs> the we use colon and similarly they have agreed on the outcome they have agreed on the outcome colon in informed uh, participants uh, perform better than do um, uninformed participants means here they have agreed on the outcome they have agreed on the outcome not complete uh, <coughs> not not complete here means uh, this is uh, seeking the some information uh, this is seeking the uh, complete uh, inform uh, complete meaning so second clause help to complete completing the meaning of the first clause uh, second means informed participants perform better than than do uninformed participants <coughs> that's all and <coughs> second uh, third one is in uh, in between the ratio and the proportion means two ratio two uh, two is two eight and last one is uh, in uh, in reference uh, between the place of publication and publisher between the publication and the publisher uh, we must uh, use colon between them that and that's that is we uh, use a dash uh, to indicate only a sudden interruption means uh, if we if we uh, need to in uh, sudden interruption sudden uh, sudden uh, some waiting in the continuity of the sentence in the continuity of the sentence uh, if we uh, sudden interrupt it means a uh, short sudden break between uh, in the sentence then in that case we use the dash for example two participants two participants one from the first group and one from the second were tested separately in this example between the uh, two uh, uh, sorry these two participants here is use dash uh, means uh, here need some sudden interruption means sudden break or sudden sudden rest uh, so uh, we uh, use here dash means two participants one from first group and one from the second were tested separately and uh, quotation marks it is <coughs> most important uh, quotation marks in the uh, in the uh, writing uh, academic writing or many types of the report writing report uh, we uh, use double quotation marks <coughs> where we should use double quotation mark uh, here some rule is uh, given or some uh, rule uh, is given here for example a uh, first rule is uh, to introduce a word or phrase used as a irony comment as slang or as an uh, invented or or uh, coined expression Coined expression. You, we use double quotation here uh, uh, to introduce a word or phrase uh, used as an irony comment, any any irony comment, or as uh, as a slang, or as uh, as in invented or uh, coined expression means uh, any word is uh, any any expression of, of a particular a particular person and person's view. In that case, we use the you use double quotation and use quotation marks the first time of the word or phrase is used. If any use or phrase used the first time, in that case we use uh, we use quotation and after uh, uh, thereafter do not use quotation marks. Only use in first case. Only use in first time. Uh, for example, here consider the normal. Here uh, we use here is used quotation marks uh, in normal behavior and second the good good outcome variable that the good outcome here also good outcome but not used here 
because it is the it, it is it is written here the second time already given the uh, quotation marks in a good outcome so if uh, any word come will repeat uh, second time do not use not need not be used uh, quotation marks and uh, third one is uh, to set of the title of an article or chapter to set of uh, the title of an article or chapter in the periodical or book when uh, the title is mentioned in text means here um, is one example from this example we uh, um, we easily cannot cannot understand Koirala 1992 article uh, epistemological debates feminist voice science social values and the story of the women this is the title of uh, of the article uh, so in the title of the article we use we use the uh, quotation marks and I would like to uh, continue my presentation uh, do not use uh, double quotation mark uh, it is, this is also very important uh, so uh, where we need not to be used uh, we, we should not use the double quotation marks uh, uh, in that uh, time I would like to one um, prime uh, for reading uh, for reading this slide uh, uh, is there uh, Narendra uh, Gishing, sir? Narendra, sir. Yes, is there yes. Narendra, sir? Please, sir. I think uh, uh, Narendra, sir, is not there. Uh, so, uh, next, Brian uh, uh, Leela, sir. Leela, sir, is there? Yes, he's here. Leela, sir. I am, I, sir. I am here. Sir, please, sir, uh, please uh, uh, read this text, sir. Yes, one with double quotation marks. Where should we not use double quotation marks is listed here. To identify the anchors of a scale instead, Ital italicize them. We rank the items on the scale ranking from I, from one, all of the time, to five, never. The second plate is to cite a letter, word, phrase, or sentence as a linguistic example. Instead, italicize the term. Uh, he clarified the distinction between further and further. To introduce a technical or key term, instead italicize the term. The term zero-based budgeting appeared frequently in the speech. She completed it with meta-analysis, which is dis described in the next session. Thank you. Thank you, Lila, sir, for your submitting. Uh, first bullet, uh, bullet is about the uh, anchor of the skill. Anchor of the skill means all of all of the time, never, uh, seldom, always. That are the anchor of the uh, skill. In anchor of the skill, we we do not use. We should not use the use double quotation. Instead of the double quotation, we use the Italian. It italicize means here all of uh, all of the all of the time is written here in Italic form. And also never is uh, is also here in the italic form so we in that case means anchor of the scale we should not use double quotation and uh, second uh, second is any a term or phrase or letter which is uh, really as the linguistics means further and for further and further is any term any phrase any word which which are related with the uh, uh, linguistic means uh, language related with the language in that uh, case uh, we um, we we do not we should not use the double quotation instead of the double quotation uh, we can use uh, italic form and uh, last bullet uh, uh, regarding the last bullet is the technical or key terms means uh, zero base is a key term and meta analysis is the key term so uh, this is the technical term uh, in the technical term or key term we also, we do not use the double quotation. Instead of the double quotation, we should use um, italic. Means here zero base is, it, is it here in italic form. Also, meta analysis also is in uh, um, italic form. And uh, this bullet, uh, uh, this uh, 
slide is about the uh, single uh, double or single quotation marks double or single quotation marks in in text in text where we use single quotation mark in text use the uh, in text double we use double quotation marks to enclose quotation in text use single quotation marks within the double quotation marks uh, to set up material that is uh, that in the original source was enclosed in the double quotation marks this uh, this rule is uh, easily understood uh, easily understand all by it is we it, uh, we can understand uh, from this uh, example here uh, stress 19 uh, 93 found that here is we use double quotation uh, double quotation here the uh, place boy effect which had been verified in the previous study displayed uh, displayed when only the first group behavior were studied in the uh, in this manner means uh, here uh, uh, double quotation is also uh, used here and single quotation uh, we use single quotation between the double quotation uh, we use the double quotation max or enclosed quotation in the text in the text we use <coughs> sorry we use the double quotation but between the, uh, within the within the double quotation within the double quotation means uh, here uh, double quotation within double quotation here the uh, play uh, place uh, place boy effect is uh, uh, is co quoted uh, by single uh, single sing single quotation mark is uh, it is uh, mentioned here single uh, quotation marks uh, because it uh, double um, uh, place boy effect is the is a uh, between the uh, double quotation means uh, any word we can we can use the uh, single quotation uh, if they if that phrase or word uh, come between between the uh, between the double quotation and in uh, in block quotation means any quotation of 40 or more words it, that is the block quotation uh, do not use quotation mark to include block quotation if we if if we wish to cite any text as a block quotation means uh, 40 or more words then in that case we do not uh, use uh, quotation marks to enclose to enclose and similarly do not uh, use uh, sorry uh, do use double quotation marks to enclose any any quoted material within a block quotation any quoted material within a block quotation means any block quotation uh, if there is any black quotation, uh, black quotation, but there is a, any quoted material, quoted material means any specific, any 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 technical uh, term. In that case, we, we use uh, double quotation. Means means here uh, double quotation. Uh, we can use uh, double quotation between uh, in the in the black quotation. If if any text, we can. Um, if we wish to uh, cite the any bulk quotation means uh, quotation which is include the 40 or 40 or more words in that block quotation we can use double quotation uh, if any quoted material means any view of a particular person or it is it, it, uh, and uh, parenthesis uh, parenthesis uh, <coughs> we use <coughs> we can use parenthesis uh, to, to set up uh, Structurally uh, independent elements. Structurally independent e elements uh, means the par uh, the the pattern where is st uh, statically significant uh, uh, means any structurally independent in already structured uh, uh, independent elements. Uh, in that uh, structurally uh, st elements, we can use the um, parenthesis means the par uh, significantly uh, statically significant. Uh, see figure five here means uh, see figure five. <coughs> I mentioned yes, but figure five is not. I I could not un, unable to mention here. It is a difficult to figure. It first time I uh, include fist figure figure fist, but lastly I cannot uh, write here. Cannot write here. Uh, so means here is a um, uh, statically significant. In the case of the statically significant, we can use parenthesis. Means uh, for example. Um, 
for example, for example, in the in hypothesis testing, we use the parenthesis uh, parenthesis where is statically significant or not significant, not significant. In that case, we use the parenthesis. And uh, second, two set of the reference citation in the text. Uh, Regmi 1991 report, uh, report uh, reported means that type of the example. Uh, I think all my colleagues uh, easily understand uh, that type of the case uh, to introduce an abbreviation. Uh, if any, uh, inter to introduce an abbreviation, uh, if any abbreviation, we can uh, introduce, uh, for example, APA means uh, the illustration of the APA, we can use the uh, parenthesis. Uh, to group mathematical uh, expression, uh, to group the mathematical expression, if any express, we, uh, we, we, which we want to uh, need to express in mathematical way, in that case, we use the parenthesis. Uh, to close the citation, our, our page number, of a direct quotation uh, and similar to include the statistical value okay for you the statically significant means p equal to uh, zero uh, point uh, so 0 0.031 uh, in in that type of the case we can use uh, parenthesis uh, this last one is also uh, can uh, we, we can explain that we can um, uh, use uh, in the first one two set of the structurally independent element in the case of the structurally independent um, Elements we use the statically significant means that type of the and last one capitalization capitalization where we must include capitalization first word beginning uh, beginning of the sentence major word in the title or reading proper noun and trade name uh, uh, nouns followed by the number or data uh, it is very easy to understand capitalization uh, abbreviation uh, use of the abbreviation uh, to minimize the clarity use of the use for long technical term in the scientific uh, writing. Uh, comparing the following two text, uh, <coughs> here is two text. Uh, comparing uh, by request uh, uh, in that time, uh, I request one uh, one friend uh, 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 voluntarily who who is, uh, who, is, uh, uh, who want to compare who uh, uh, who can help uh, me for reading uh, this uh, two. This uh, to cover text voluntarily. Uh, please, uh, any uh, any friend, uh, can you um, can you read this to text? Okay, Romerson, sir, I request him. So, can you able to read that? Romerson, pardon, sir. Yes, sir. My mute Khonda is sir. Yes. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay, oh, yes, okay sir. sir. Good evening to all my friends and Ratna sir and our respected sir Nira sir. I am going to support uh, Mr. Uh, Ratna sir. Uh, yes sir, yes sir. Welcome sir. Welcome sir. Uh, abbreviation. Um, so today's class, uh, how to use comma, how to use period, how to use uh, uh, semicolon like that and abbreviation, how to use abbreviation in academic writing. Uh, uh, Ratna sir's slides is very interesting. Uh, so use of uh, abbreviation uh, to maximize uh, clarity. Uh, to clarity useful for long technical terms in scientific writing. This is enough. I think so. Yeah. Useful for long technical term in scientific writing that we use abbreviation and comparing that is comparing P A R I N G it, no, it must be com P C O M P A or I don't know sir yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, comparing comparing following text uh with a text or two as you compare gara here yeah, 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 yes sir yes sir uh, the advantage of the <coughs> yellows was clear from the RT data which reflected high FP and FN rates for the areas. So here are one, two, three, four, five abbreviations here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, these sentence five abbreviations are used. Uh, the advantage of the LS, LS means left hand, uh, yeah. was left hand was clear from the reaction uh, time. RT means reaction time data, which reflected high um, false positive and false negative FP and FN uh, rates for the uh, right end abbreviation accepted as words mm, abbreviation IQ AIDS 
so some of the from this slide also we can understand some of the famous abbreviation we can for example uh, WSO, IQ, ERS and like that yes, uh, uh, such uh, abbreviation can be used to make a short uh, to make sentence uh, short so uh, we can use uh, abbreviation in so the writing in the advantage uh, of alias and RD it is written in yellow form here. Yeah? We can can we write uh, in this form also? Uh, also, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Instead but of second, yeah. instead of second sentence, uh, yeah, we yeah. can write uh, the first sentence, first isn't it? Yes, sir. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. okay sir. Yes, sir. This is my understanding. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Ram sir. Um, uh, you clear. Uh, you help to clear uh, about the abbreviation. Uh, okay, here uh, instead of the uh, second uh, second uh, sentence, uh, second sentence we you can use um, first one because here uh, you use uh, here uh, abbreviation L H R H F N F V uh, instead of the left hand uh, reaction time right hand you know, false positive hand. Uh, I want yes, to I want to make clear, uh, but this abbreviation uh, should be uh, uh, right uh, in the before of the uh, before uh, before or after uh, of the page. I think so. If not, then no understand, isn't it? Yeah, yes, sir. Yeah. If if we most familiar with the abbreviation, for example, L H R H. If we familiar. Uh, with the abbreviation, uh, in that case, only in that case, in that case, we use um, abbreviation. Means familiar abbreviation can familiar, be used. Familiar abbreviation can be right uh, in this right. form. If the, uh, for example, C S cas, isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. GPA cas and yeah. C G P A, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Such, uh, such type of abbreviation are familiar. Yes. Yeah, so, Though they are familiar, but we have to write in uh, separate uh, pages to describe uh, them also, isn't it? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay, we'll discuss yes, that. In my okay. And <coughs> okay. Lastly, uh, some abbreviation which is used as a word. Um, we, one one example WHO with already um, say uh, Ram sir uh, IQ WHO AID is uh, this is this uh, is the um, uh, accepted as a word. Uh, so it also um, help uh, us uh, for using by for using this type of the abbreviation in any type of the any type of the writing. Uh, I think this is last one. Okay, finally, okay, it is last. Thank you, um, all my friends and respected uh, guru. Um, if any query or question, uh, please welcome everybody. Okay, thank you so much, uh, Ratna sir. Your presentation is so much worthy. Like we need this all sort of skill while writing. So you have articulated those ideas as per uh, it is given in the paper. You highlighted with some uh, grammatical issue uh, in the beginning of your presentation, like issue of period. So and clearly uh, clarifying any process. And next thing uh, in AP style, uh, there are lots of uh, process you have to follow yes. so yes, uh, but as for the laws of the university they may define uh, their own also uh, now you started to the pre today's presentation with some mechanics technique like period so why period is necessary in which case we have to use period period is not exactly the full stop but period is a little different thing you talk about uh, comma where will comma is necessary why parenthesis is necessary in citation as well as uh, uh, while uh, showing some proofs of p value and other section and semicolon you talk a lot about semicolon and then you come up with colon why colon is necessary and again you talk about the dash why dash is essential uh, while reading dash is very useful uh, for the reader to read it uh, thoroughly and you talk about um, quotation single quotation and double quotation single quotation under double quotation and yeah. also you talk about the block quotation so uh, th so this sort of examples uh, will we will able to enhance uh, these competencies while writing it so in, while you are writing it you you can able to use this all entire part 
so with this saying uh, i want to suggest you few things so your presentation is not a little long so i i just request you to minimize uh, your presentation in a certain time and next thing yes, i request you to read some books to strengthen your english so your yes. writing is fine uh, i know I, i have been checking your writing uh, from a lot speaking section and some pronunciation section you need to work hard on it so that your english will be more better in next session yes sir so i'll provide sir. you one book a very soon uh, regarding how to uh, uh, make your english more better you you will can start yes, with very easy yes, easy uh, speaking pattern so that it will yes. be easy so so i request you to be uh, cool while presenting then only you can able to uh, uh, present what you have intended in your presentation so with this saying uh, i request yes, all of you to read this uh, book one second so because this is very much worthy book and this all information are necessary for us while writing it uh, so with that saying i just want to welcome to the another <laughs> So with that saying, uh, like I want to uh, uh, check one of our friends uh, for suggestion and uh, for their insight, what they, they could able to understand from your presentation and from the paper as well. So with that saying, I request uh, uh, um, Anil sir. Anil sir. Yes sir. Ah, uh, please. Uh, uh, did you understand? Did you listen my question earlier? What did I told? Uh, yes, sir. But uh, in my screen, I could not see any um, slides, sir. That's why I'm just listening only. Okay. And, and so you are listening. What you could able to um, uh, reflect? Ah, uh, yes, uh, Ratna sir has presented so many things for the. Gram in the grammatical portion uh, of the writing, <coughs> which are very necessary for our academic writing, and I felt that we need such type of uh, grammatical uh, suggestions. Uh, but uh, during this presentation, in my mind. Uh, it uh, one of the question is raised that how can we apply them? When to apply? Just uh, we are remembering, just uh, we are looking, seeing, listen only. But uh, how can we carry out them in our practice? Uh, since we are we are practicing the old thing uh, that we have learned. That's why it may be difficult to. Uh, take in our uh, writing it is also that said why it would be better to practice uh, in the moment that's uh, in uh, that i have heard sir okay that is fine your question is for me like uh, while you are uh, writing your uh, assignment while you are responding in your uh, learning activity you may use that technique so that you can able to enhance your skill so while you are writing it will help for you so this is all about process you talk about the process so it is fine so in one of my session uh, in the, in very soon i try my best to incorporate your this issue as well and some grammatical process also i try my best to include it in one of my session uh, very soon so that you could able to reflect whatever our friends had said earlier and what they have presented Okay. Okay, sir. Okay. Thank you so much for Anil sir uh, regarding his concern regarding uh, uh, if we practice this concept in moment it would be easy. So that is fine. Uh, so with that saying, I want to stop uh, here. Uh, thank you so much, Ratna sir. Uh, then I, I want. Thank to, you, sir. Thank you. Sir. Uh, I want to welcome to Tilak Khatri sir. Uh, Tilak sir. Ah uh, yes, sir. Ah uh, please. Yes. Sir. Uh, share your screen. Ah uh, yes. नमस्कार नमस्कार 
कैप्चुलाइजेशन एब्रिविएशन भनेर हैन टपिक चाहिँ जानियो हेलो हजुर हजुर प्लीज गो आइड भन्नु न कि टपिक जानियो तर चाहिँ अब त्यहाँ भक्तु चाहिँ त्यहाँ भएको वर्डहरु कुनै पनि अब हामीले भन्दा खेरि भनिन्छ त त्यसको अर्थ के हो त्यो कुरा धेरै कन्फ्यु कुरा चाहिँ अब पढ्दै गयो अ यसो यसो भन्नु भयो ठक्कै चाहिँ यो हो भन्ने कुराको ज्ञान चाहिँ भएन सर हैन अब हुन त नपढेर भयो आफू आफूले पढे भने हुन्थ्यो अहिले अब अलिकति मैले थोरै पढ्दै पनि आउनु भन्या चाहिँ हुन्छु अब अलिक भ्याउनु भएको छैन फेरि यो यो प्रेजेन्टेसन पछाडि एकचोटि फेरि रिफ्लेक्ट ब्याक भएर तँ पेपरलाई हेर्नु भयो भने हुन्छ अब म यहाँ पेपर यो सबै सकिँदा ओर्दा के के कुरामा समस्या पर्छ मैले यहाँ नोट गरेको छु त्यो सबै कुरामा फेरि मेरो क्वेशन हुन्छ क्या सुन मेरो कुरा के सर भन्दैछु अब यो हामीलाई अब इङ्लिस अहिले उठ नै छ के सर होइन इङ्लिसको बरु एक दुईटा क्लास बरु त्यो इङ्लिस लेख्ने के एउटा क्लास चाहिँ इङ्लिस लेख्ने तरिका यता उति हुन्छ नि त यहाँ साथीहरूको म मेरै कुरा भनौँ कुनै कोही प्रनाउन्स गर्ने नआउने छ अब कोही त्यस्तो छ अनि तू प्रनाउन्स गर्न नआई नआईकन पढेर कति बुझिन्छ त्यसलाई कसरी बुझ्न सकिए होला कोही कोही चाहिँ नेपालीमा सम गऱ्यो भने कमसेकम दिमाग चढ्छ नि आफ्नो ढङ्ग लेख्न सकिन्छ नि सर ठिक छ ठिक छ होइन मैले यसो भन्छु तपाईँलाई यो रिडिङ राइटिङ मेरो कोर फोकस दुईटामा हुन्छ क्या अब म अहिले चाहिँ अलिकति थोरै एउटा दुईटा मोडल सकेपछि अलिकति रिफ्लेक्ट ब्याक गर्दाखेरि के के कुरामा समस्या पर्छ म त्यसको दुई चारवटा सेसन लेखेर अलि लामो लामो सेसनहरू लिउँला त्योपछि सेपिङ हुन्छ अहिले चाहिँ म तपाईँहरूको राइटिङ अथवा तपाईँहरूको क्यालिबर तपाईँलाई कुनै पनि इस्यूलाई दियो भनेदेखि त्यसलाई प्रेजेन्ट गर्न सक्ने स्किलहरू हेर्दैछु क्या मैले सो दट आई कुड लेबल कम अप त्यहाँबाट केही जान्दा छु नि त कुनै लेबल पत्ता लाउँछु नि त मैले देन आई एम ट्रिट अन द्याट वे सर हाम्रो प्रेजेन्टेसन कस्तो भयो सर हामी जे जाने हो त्यही गर्ने भएन सर तर जे हुनुपर्ने हो त्यही भएन कि हामी रङ प्र्याक्टिस गरेन कि भन्ने आफूले डर लागिरहेर भने होइन त्यसले त मेरो काम हो नि त म त्यसलाई सेपिङ गरिहाल्छु नि ओके हजुर रत्न सर ए रत्न सर भइस ल थ्याङ्क यू सो मच ल तिलक सर यस सर म प्लिज नाउ यु क्यान शेयर युअर स्क्रिन सर आई एम ट्राइंग टू शेयर माय स्क्रीन यस सर हजुर सर यो तिलक सरको प्रेजेन्टेसन पनि मैले अब अघिल्लो विकबाटै यो कन्टिन्यू छ हैन सर हजुर अनि मैले पनि सर यो पब्लिकेसन म्यानुअल यो अमेरिकन साइकोलोजी एसोसिएसन सी सेक्सन एडिसनको चाहिँ नि यो उसबाटै रहेछ सर हैन मैले यो सँगसँगै सर यो पनि पढेको छु सरको स्लाइड पनि हेरेको छु सर तर यो एकदमै धेरै के छ जस्तो यहाँ फर इक्जाम्पल के कुरा गर्छु सर मैले जस्तो एउटा कोटेसन थियो होइन सर डबल कोटेसन सिङ्गल कोटेसन अनि त्यो सिङ्गल कोटेसन डबल कोटेसन भनेको डबल कोटेसन विथ सिङ्गल कोटेसन राख्ने हो भन्ने कुरा थियो अनि त ब्लक कोटेसन कस्तो हो सर ए ब्लक भनेको चाहिँ तपाईँको कसैको वर्ड चाहिँ कोटी वर्ड भन्दा माथि हुन्छ भने त्यसलाई चाहिँ तपाईँले एउटा एक ट्याप दिएर त्यहाँ राख्नु पर्ने हुन्छ ब्लक भनेको त्यो एउटा कोर ब्लकै फोर्टी अरू मोर देन फोर्टी वर्डको ल्याउनु पर्छ म यहाँ फोर्टी अर मोर देन फोर्टी वर्डलाई साइड गर्नु भयो तपाईँले भने त्यसलाई ब्लक भन्छ क्या त्यो ब्लकको चाहिँ पेज नम्बर साइड राख्नु पर्छ इन्डेन्टेसन होस् हजुर हजुर हो इन्डेन्टेसन त्यही हो ब्लक कोटेसन र इन्डेन्टेसन एउटै हो अब यो प्यारेन्थेसिस भनेको त सर स्मल स्मल ब्राकेटै हो कि रे हैन सर प्यारेन्थेसिस भनेको त ब्राकेट भित्र स्मल ब्राकेट भित्र राख्ने हो अ त्यो स्मल यो यो सर यो सरको प्रेजेन्टेसन त राम्रो छ सर तर हाम्रो बुझाइ चाहिँ मेरो मेरो बुझाइ अलि पुगेन के सर यसमा मैले दुईचोटी मैले पढे पनि सर यो अब दिस इज करेक्ट दिस इज नट करेक्ट भन्ने नै छ सर यहाँ पनि तर यो त एउटा पार्टिकुलर इक्जाम्पल मात्रै भयो कि सर यो कस्तो के नबुझेको हो कि कसो हो सर यो नपढेको पनि होइन सर तर बुझेको पनि छैन कि सर ठिक छ त्यसो हुँदा यसो गरौँ नि त 
नेक्स्ट वीक को फर्स्ट सेशन म कंटिन्ू कर सेशन जहाँ चाहिए सब राइटिंग का मेकानिक्स देखि ग्रामर का कुछ कर फर्स्ट सेशन म चला अलग इसका विभिन्न इक्जापल कंटेक्स का यो प्रेजेंटेशन भी ठीक है सर क्योंकि स्टूडेंट सेंटर भाग राम प्लस इसमें कि सर ये टेक्निकल कुछ अकेडेमिक राइटिंग में ठक्क साइंटिफिक मेथड रहे सर ये होनी या नोनी भाई तो साइंटिफिक ही भाई सर इसमें अल अलग अल हिंसा अल बड़ी नहीं होगी जो लगे कि सर मैं क्लियर पार्टी मेपिंग कर ओके नाउ तिलक सर यस सर ओवर स्क्रीन देखिए तो सर ओके स्क्रीन ओके वी कैन एबल टू सी योर स्क्रीन ओके यस नाउ यू मे स्टार्ट योर प्रेजेंटेशन आई सजेस्ट यू टू ब्रिंग आवर कंटेक्सुअल एग्जांपल सो दैट आवर फ्रेंड्स विल अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट योर इंटेंशन एंड व्हाट यू हैव इंटेंडेड टू प्रेजेंट टुडे सो नाउ ओवर टू यू यू मे स्टार्ट यस सर रेस्पेक्टेड टीचर्स एंड कॉलेजेस टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू प्रेजेंट द आर्ट अफ समराइजिंग प्रपोज हेलो इन दिस पेपर आई विल प्रेजेंट इंट्रोडक्शन व्हाट इज समराइजिंग गाइडलाइन फॉर समराइजिंग ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ऑफ द पेपर in the paper on the one end <coughs> next is on the other end summarizing uh, satirically uh, use single verbs that fit the action a uh, group discussion and feedback uh, i will center it in this uh, in this uh, bullet of bullet for my presentation first is introduction of the <coughs> paper the paper is written by gerald graf and kathy uh, brigenstein uh, the writer uh, from the university of illinois at chicago uh, the paper include the ideas to summarize the uh, written um, article journal books etc in this paper the author describe how to summarize the article journals books and etc the structure of the paper the paper describe at different sub topics uh, templates exercise what is summarizing uh, others info that you present in your one hours a good summary requires balancing what the original author is saying with your focus in second bullet a good summary requires balancing what the original author is saying with your focus the person who summarizes the others uh, paper or others information uh, we should summarize balancing balancedly and Uh, do not uh, do not modify the original authors uh, saying but we should focus uh, on my islands uh, about the papers in thought the true uh, to what the original author says while also emphasizing those uh, aspect of the authors Uh, says interest you at last summary is a significant uh, reduction of the original source uh, the original source is very length lengthy in this situation we should summarize the uh, summarize the original sources or article books in uh, our language but we do not uh, modify the original original theme a uh, guideline for summarizing uh, determine the main idea of the pieces you have read or viewed it 
at first we should determine the main idea of the papers uh, then uh, we can summarize it uh, write one sentence that captures that main ideas uh, write one sentence that captures the main idea uh, this is very important if we capture the main idea in one sentence as you read up view note the major areas of evidence that the this is provide hello hello continue continue please yes sir <coughs> Uh, the uh, then write one sentence that uh, communicates the gist of each of these major areas. On the other end, put yourself in their shoes. Place play the believing games. Inhabit the old view of those whose conversation you are joining, and. whom you are perhaps even disagreeing with and the uh, theorist peter elbo calls the believing games uh, we believe in the original writers theme or original articles uh, we are joining in conversation and whom you are perhaps even disagreeing with if we are disagreeing disagreeing with uh, the uh papers yeah one example of summary it is taken from the papers david jingzenko's article don't blame the eater don't blame the eaters is nothing more than an angry uh, rant in which the which he uh, accused the fast food companies of an <coughs> evil conspiracy Uh, conspiracy uh, to make people fat i disagree because the companies have to make money here is the one example is summarizing uh, don't blame the eaters is nothing more than an angry uh, rent in which he access the fast food company of an evil conspiracy to make people fat it is example to fast food companies uh, do, uh, is uh, an evil conspiring to make people sick fat uh, here is uh, the summarized person is disagree with uh, because the company have to make money here one the other hand it means uh, the summarized person blames to the uh, companies not blame to the eaters Okay, let's discuss with that one once once again. Can you explain that slide once again? Yes, all your slide. Okay, yes, this is. Let the uh, friend to discuss with this. Uh, second bullet, sir. Oh no, all all entire both. A hey, both, sir. Hmm. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, play the believing game. Inhabit the old view of those whose conversation you are joining. and whom you are perhaps even disagreeing with uh, we are joining in conversation but uh, we are uh, but uh, i am disagreeing with others view in this summarize uh, the following uh, by the, by using the following examples here is one examples uh, david jing jing so jing jing so jing kos article don't blame the eater hmm. he is nothing more than an angry uh, rent in who is he uh, accuses the fast food companies of an evil cons- uh, conspiracy to make people fat i disagree because these company have to make money <laughs> okay uh, in this examples hmm. the some uh, the summarized person blames to the 
uh, companies. The company is uh, motivated to make money, uh, but we don't blame the eaters. In the above example, the above summary is an unfair uh, distortion. Uh, uh, DJ Stone never angry and he never goes so far as to suggest that the fast food industry conspired to make people fat uh, with deliberately evil intent. On the other end, uh, yes, most, as you must acknowledge others' view in summary. Don't neglect, uh, neglect your own views altogether. Mm. Uh, suppose you want to argue that it's parents, not fast food companies, who are to blame for children's obesity. To set up this argument, you may, uh, you may want to compose a summary that highlights that uh, Jing Zhengko says about the fast food industry and parents in the article, don't blame the eater. David Jing Zhengko blames the fast food in industry uh, for fueling today's so-called obesity epidemic not only by failing to provide adequate warning levels on its uh, uh, high calorie food, but also by filling the nutritional void in children's lives left by their uh, overtaxed working parents. On the other hand, the summarized people, the people so who blames to the company, but on the other hand, in this uh, case, we, we do not blame the company, we should blame the parents who are, uh, who are working, uh, overtaxed working, they are not uh, given time to their, par their children. Uh, in this case, with many parents working long hours and unable to uh, supervise what their children eat. Uh, Jinx Janko claims children today are easily victimized by the low cost calorie laden foods that the fast food chains are all too easier to supply. When he was a young boy, for instance, and his single mother was away at work, he at, uh, ate at uh, uh, Taco Bell, MC Donalds, and other chains on a regular basis, and indeed of overweight. Jink Janko's hope is that with the new aspect of lawsuit against the food industry, over children with working parents will have earlier uh, choice, choices available to them and uh, that they will not like him because of this. In my view, however it is the parents and not the food chains who are responsible for uh, their children's obesity. While it is true that many of today's parents work long hours, uh, still several things that parents can do to uh, guarantee the, that their children eat healthy foods. Uh, don't bore your readers uh, with list summaries. Uh, in the summarizing of any papers, we should, uh, we should summarize uh, the papers in simple and uh, to over all uh, theme of the papers. But we should not uh, make the list of the summaries. Uh, here, one example I mentioned here, uh, the author says many different things about his subject. First he says, da -da, then he makes the points that in addition he says, and, da -da, and then he writes, that also he shows that, da -da, and then says, da -da. 
uh, in these examples, uh, the the summaries of the papers enlisted the view of the original authors in point eight or we saw a list of the summaries. Uh, it is uh, bored uh, to our readers, so we don't bore our readers with list of summary. This type of uh, list list uh, is not acceptable and not suitable for the summaries. Uh, summarizing uh, satirically. Uh, the general rule that good summaries requires a balance between what someone uh, uh, else has uh, said and your one interest as writer. It is very interesting what is saying the others and what is uh, my interest uh, as a writer. Uh, I have mentioned here examples. The satiric summary in which a writer uh, deliberately gives his or one spin to some one uh, else argument in order to uh, reveal a glaring shortcoming it. Example is in September uh, 2001, uh, then President George W. Bush in a speech to Congress asked the notice, uh, nations continued participants, uh, participation and confidence in the American economy. It is the uh, what is or it is the uh, voice of the uh, President George W. Bush as a means of recovering from the uh, terrorist attacks of 9-10. Uh, in, in this uh, thing, one journalist criticized or summarized the, his uh, quotations. The journalist Ellen Salon criticized his proposal simply by summarizing it, observing that the president had uh, equated uh, patriotism uh, with shopping, maxing out our credit cars at the small wasn't self in uh, indu indulence, indulgences. It was a way to get back at Osama bin Laden. Can you explain this uh, one? Earlier one? Uh, this example, yes, sir. Yes. Uh, yes, sir. In this uh, examples, uh, the president, George W. Bush was said, continue participation and confident in American economy. Uh, it is the one single sentence, but the interest of the journalist Ellen Salon uh, as saying uh, patriotism with uh, shopping, uh, maxing out of credit cards at the small wasn't self uh, indolence. It was a way to get back at Osama bin Laden. Uh, it is like as the I'll take a Nepali one. Okay, you just make, make us clear. Only one eco value reason. You single box that fit the action. Mm -hmm. Single box that fit in fit the action. Uh, we should the single box if, if possible uh, to make the summary is uh, short, sweet, and clear. In introducing summary, try to avoid uh, blend formulas like uh, C says. He says or they believes, uh, say they are or they complain or uh, he challenges or he index. The templates uh, for introducing summaries. It is the one uh, templates uh, how to summarize the papers or how to write the summary of the papers. Uh, see advocates of a radical uh, revision of the uh, juvenile justice system. They celebrate the fact that that, that he admits. It is uh, the uh, templates for 
good uh, summary summaries uh, yeah i have mentioned the one questions uh, for discussion with my colleagues why is it that some writers don't summarize another author's argument the they say of the context for which they are writing i would like to request my colleagues voluntarily uh who can uh, make clear these questions okay one of you may try it so it has said like why uh, is it the someone writers don't summarize another's author's argument the they say or the context for which they are writing why they do not simply summarize their arguments okay you may continue so why why that happen yes sir uh, yes sir yes uh, many writers as i away from summarizing for several reasons side you miss uh, side here side de filoni ji hmm yes sir so please continue continue yes sir uh, they don't want to go back to the reading and figure out what it says as lazy we are uh, if we are lazy uh, we don't want to back to the reading and figure out uh, what is what it says uh, they fear uh, they fear they will spend too much time devoted uh, to the arguments of others and not their one lacking confidence uh, third is one they think that by responding to an assigned article they are already on topic and therefore don't need to summarize mm-hmm. good here is one other and uh, one another question precise that earlier slide one second previous slide yes. let's discuss one second uh answer any other question sir okay both both let's discuss or, yes. or can you why briefly again yes sir uh, why is it that some writers don't summarize another author's argument the they say or the context for which they are writing uh, the answer is many writers say uh, away from summarizing for several reasons uh, many uh, maybe many reasons um, but i have mentioned here one only three reasons uh, they don't want go back to the reading and figure out what it says uh, it means the the readers uh, have not enough time to read uh, repeatedly the article and uh, they not want to figure out what it says uh, it means lazy uh, they fear uh, they will spend too much time devoted to the arguments of others and not their one uh, at lacking confidence the readers is not confident to his argument or to his summary of the papers a uh, third is on they think that by responding to an assigned article they are already on topic and therefore don't need to summarize okay like uh, as for your sharing uh, so while doing summary summarizing any context or any text mm. We, we we firstly we we are too much lazy to explain. Yes. Sir. Second, what we want to summarize that is not as intended in the text, so we we feel little uh, lacking confidence. And finally, we so what we think when we uh, see the topic sentence of uh, any article or whatever, we we just say, oh this is the topic sentence, so why I should go further? It is okay from the topic. so with that reason we never uh, we don't summarize other writers argument is it true uh, uh, in third point sir uh, mm-hmm. 
not important for ease or for all. Okay. 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 Thank you so much. So please go ahead. Uh, what are common mistakes made by writers when it comes to summarizing another author's argument? Mm. What are common mistakes made by writers when it comes to summarizing another author's argument? Uh, writer don't writers don't write enough of what other are saying. Don't write enough of what others are saying, and uh, writers write too much of what other are saying. Uh, Aries, uh, the writer cannot. Uh, capture the whole theme of the papers, and at last, feedback for me. Okay. Uh, okay. Firstly, I just want to ask you a few questions. Then, uh, friends, we will we'll go for the discussion. Do not worry. So, what is your understanding uh, regarding summarizing? What is exactly the what sort of art is necessary while doing summarize? Uh, when you complete this presentation, what is your insight? Can you explain and make us our friends uh, more clear regarding it? Uh, yes, sir. In my uh, uh, presenting the slides and my un understanding is, uh -huh. we should read the paper uh, carefully uh, two or three times, and uh, we. Should confirm the summary of the papers, and we can uh, write the summary uh, in my one words, but we cannot uh, modify the original theme. Okay, that is not it. Mm. And here, somewhere you have written the word uh, satirically. What is that means? Like, what what is your intention to put that word? Uh, satirically, you Bengali tamak ruple is to unse sir. Ruple banda khoje ko kural lai. Amil unirle bale ko basara amle sahay ko basama naay pasi. Tere lai likari gamauru parle sozi ruple. Disagree no gorita. Komar pal disagree gorni tarikale summarize gorni gori kosa. Pura news pura article orma sukra aunsa bande urso sir. Okay. Take it. Take it. Like an another thing. So I I some of our friends also raised some question like uh, earlier also I suggest you put some examples that are related to our context so that our friends. Uh, could able to understand more better. I suggest you earlier, mm, but you could not address that all entire in your presentation. But you are limited with the paper. Is it true? Uh, yes, sir. You you just limited on that paper. Limited of the paper. Ah, uh, you just limit on the paper. Like uh, there are multiple ways of uh, doing summary. While summarizing any text, uh, so like uh, uh, Nepali make you answer what you call for summary? Saram sagar, right? Is it true? So like one third, one fourth one. Ali kati tamale Nepali amro culture ko example or leon walk ma. Dekhi the your presentation was a one. Okay, it's super pure. Ali kati context ne ayu ta walk ma. Ali ali kati reader lai amro friend or like bonda thore garbo. Oh, now let's uh, discuss with uh, some of our friends uh, regarding, and I'll provide my feedback later on at the end of the, uh, the discussion. So I request uh, some of our friends. So let me start with Bikram Bhandari sir. So Bikram sir, are you there? Yes, sir. So, can you suggest and what is your insight uh, from the presentation uh, of Tilak sir? Uh, did you read that paper earlier? Yes, sir. So, what what is in paper and what he has presented and what is your insight? Can you able to clarify with 
एज पर योर लर्निंग नै सर्वे गरेको प्रेजेन्टेसन त यहाँ भएको कुरा त एउटै छ सर अ उस्तो त छ तर त्यस्तो डिफरेन्सिएट जुन पार्टिकुलर डिफरेन्सिएट गर्न पर्ने हो त्यो चाहिँ एकदम पार्टिकुलर डिफरेन्सिएट गर्न सकिए छैन के सर जिस्ट कुरा नै ओके दैट इज ल्याट त्यसमा चाहिँ अलिकति थोरै कन्टेक्स्ट अनुसार नमिलेको भयो अ कन्टेक्स्ट चाहिँ मिलेको छ तर त्यस्तो इलाबोरेट चाहिँ हामीले गर्न सकेको छैन के सर ओके ओके दैट इज डिफिकल्ट इज बट ठीकै छ ठीकै छ नाउ व्हाट इज योर इन्साइट के बुझ्नु भयो यो प्रेजेन्टेसन सकेको इसमें के सब सर जो सा के तो राइटर ने क्या राइटर को साइटेसन कर रिडाइड कर लैंग्वेज हम इंटेस को मिलेन गाड़ो होने कुरा नहीं मेन कुछ ते नहीं हो जो लगता है मैं सर जो हमें कुछ हम रिटेड रिटेड अर्टिकल भन अथवा रिटेड चाहे रिटेसन हो सर तेल पढ़् हमें मागे कुरा तो भैन भी हम तेज को जाने कोईसनिंग को जाना एंसर दिन सकते हैं भाई कुछ मैं बुझे हाई सर ओके ठीक है ठीक है सो लाइक पैला हमी पैला पैला अथवा यह भाई जुनियर ग्रेड तीर स्टडी कराखे जो ये जो हो समरी करने टेक्निक रही खोजे में व्हाट चेंजेस डिड यू नोटिस पीपल ने सपोर्ट कर आइडियाज रहा हमी प्क्टिस में के फरक पाँच विक्रम सर मैं सुनभ सर हो हो Uh, I want to welcome here uh, Janak Neopani sir for a while. So Janak sir. Sir, good evening. Good evening sir. So uh, can you summarize quickly uh, regarding the presentation of uh, Silak sir? Sir, I will try sir. The content is little bit difficult also. Yeah. Uh, even then... I will share my little bit idea only, sir. I don't have more. Actually, <coughs> uh, we read uh, articles in journal and other also uh, written thing. Uh, we can read, and after that, uh, if we want to summarize that, then there are some certain rules and ideas. Uh, that was described by tilak sir and it was the content of tilak sir and uh, he had given some guidelines for summarizing uh, similarly how to organize the paper he said in my uh, short idea sir we have to read the paper three or four times first of all how to summarize uh, my idea Uh, after reading that, and uh, we try to write one sentences for more paragraph to include all the themes. It means we don't write many more sentences or many more paragraphs. We use very less sentences to cover all the content. it is the uh, way of summarizing uh, and uh, sir might have gone according to the material he got i think you might have seen some material and he read that material and he prepared that actually uh, what uh, it had to include that how many uh, paragraphs are required mm-hmm. or what should be the language and uh, this technical things also if uh, he could have included it would be interesting but uh, i think there was limitation because uh, he had that material only okay so uh, this thing did not come in paper sir uh, sir it is my little bit idea sir okay thank you so much for your sharing uh... Sir, so what what is your suggestion for him? 
Uh, not only for Tilak sir, sir was trying very nicely, it is for me also, uh, because I have to present uh, my paper after some uh, time or some days, what we should do or what I should do is that whatever content uh, is provided or what, uh, what kind of material uh, are provided to us, uh, beyond that we have to use the internet sources, we have to uh, go in other sources also and we have to collect the uh, materials and we have to write the examples also which we can understand and I think this way if we prepare the paper it would be little bit uh, meaningful and worthful sir. Okay, nice. Thank you so much sir. Thank you so much. Okay. Uh, so self-realize is not necessary and do not limit only on paper. So like uh, as Zanakal suggests us uh, already, so like uh, the, the paper which I have uploaded there uh, that are not sufficient in some cases. You, you do not bring all what is in paper. Try to reflect on our situation and try to bring those concepts. And what are necessary in our context, just you have to bring those ideas. So otherwise you will be in trap. So no, now, um, thank you so much, Janak sir, and even Tilak sir. So now I just request uh, Rome Orson Pordel sir uh, for a quick summary as well as what is his insight, what he could able to learn from uh, this presentation. So um, Rome Orson Pordel sir. Is it sir? So can you quickly summarize what you could able to understand from the presentation of Tilak sir? And if you have some suggestion, feedback, you may provide in as well. Uh, Tilak sir, uh, I did not listen properly uh, Tilak sir's uh, presentation sir. Sorry for that. Like uh, from discussion also, what is what sort of uh, insight you could able to identify? Uh, from the beginning sir, I could not uh, listen properly. That's why. Uh, it, I, I, I couldn't be able to express my view, sir. Okay. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, so being cranky also is one of the asset uh, of the learner. So thank you so much, Ramachan, sir. Uh, now I suggest, uh, I, I just want to welcome and hand over this microphone to uh, Mysore Bokhtel, sir. Mysore, sir. Sir, hello. Yes, so what is yes, your insight and what is your understanding uh, right after the presentation of uh, Tilak, sir? So, uh, same as Janak, sir, sir. Yeah, same, same, okay. Okay, that is fine. So, like, okay, thank you so much. Now, any feedback, suggestion for him to improve further? Yes, sir, I... Uh, my feedbacks that that we use in local uh, context and uh, local uh, materials and um, some words are there but we cannot understand that type of words i'm tk word or so i'm busy now but to call men kura say busy kura ekti ra unzo unna bunni tira bunna gai nyu bhaage oh dio that is lacking part so do not bring everything what is in paper yeah so like on the representation that is a skill so earlier also uh, I suggest you are there as well, uh, all of my friends. So like, I am not going to be able to present it, but I am not going to be able to present it. I am not going to be able to present it, but I am not going to be able to focus on it. Time is very hard to work on it, sir. Oh, okay, okay. That is good. The evidence is very good, sir. You may learn it. So, okay. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, now, other, other friends? Uh, I request uh, Sabi sir. Uh, so Sabi sir, are you there? Oh, he is not there. Okay. So um, thank you so much, uh, Tilak sir. Uh, next week I will conduct one workshop on writing. Uh, it will discuss about the all section, whatever we have discussed yet. So what I plan, if uh, we complete this model, then I run one workshop regarding how to write, uh, how to use uh, period, how to use parenthesis, how to use uh, direct code, how to use block code, everything that will that would sound better. So I'll prepare one reading material by collecting everything, whatever we have discussed here, 
uh, so that your knowledge will enhance in different ways. So is that okay? So many on Sunday. Moreover, the matter you are listening to discuss only your liberty, what you keep the phone later. Okay, sir. Reading your real body, you guys, because some way back here. Molly, you have to just have the practice of the workshop on the very sir. Oh, the workshop thing, you couldn't play or go to go also. Are you the only good do you line Lehni and it is the aim was a Lehni, yes, attack. Oh, and so this and the needs. Yeah, I don't know what I could have taken. त्यो गर्ने त्य मेटेर व्हाइट बोर्डमा लेख्दै मेट्दै गरेर गर यस्तो गर्ने भने अलि यो बानी परिन्छ के यो ग्रामर पनि जान्न पर्ने छ के यो त सिन्ट्याक्स रहेछ के यो एकेडेमिक राइटिङ त हो सबैको कम्पाइल हो के पुरो प्योर इंग्लिश इंग्लिश साइज छ के त्यो भएर यसलाई चाहिँ अलि कति सरले यो प्रेजेन्टेसन हामीले बनाउने प्रेजेन्टेसन गर्ने भन्ने कुरा यो पढे पढिन्छ तर प्राक्टिसमा चाहिँ आउन पर्यो जस्तो लाग्छ र मलाई त ठीक छ अब यहाँ मसँग एक दुईवटा मोडल छन् के पहिला जले चाहिँ तपाईलाई होइ हो कि हो कि जस्तो गराउँछ त्यसपछि Writing punch again, the Maria Tarina book, case China. Writing punch again, but her person writing when you writing good discussion. So I'll see Tomeko Pura, Cossary resources or Milaniki, Gonikos or Gonimatri Purazan, I know. About your model three Saki Pasi, your model three o two, I know. Two go, two months of the body says to you, be in a technical Purazan, your body, or writing go check, writing Pesci, or you second part mason, compare contrast or son. विभिन्न राइटर भरले कसरी एडिट गर्छन् सेटअप को कुराहरु कस्तो छ भने एभ्रीथिङ आर हियर अलि थोरै हटारिन हो त्यसमा केही उ छैन म तपाईको इन्ट्रेस्ट चाहिँ अझ बेटर छ है अझ माथि अझ धेरै सिक्न चाहनुहुन्छ भन्ने चाहिँ मैले बुझे त्यो तपाईहरुको यो सो यो जब इन्ट्रेस्टहरु आउँदै जान्छ नि त जस्तो अघि अनिल सरले भन्नुहुन्थ्यो यही मोमेन्ट पनि प्र्याक्टिस गर्न पर्यो भन्ने हुन्छ नि यस्तो एभ्रीथिङ आर देयर डु नट वरी यो नभए त यो कोर्स अपुरै भइहाल्छ नि Ah, uh, now uh, I request uh, next friend. Uh, so Tilak sir, thank you so much. Uh, and I keep in mind that last time's uh, your presentation, if I compare to the last time's presentation, uh, this uh, one is nice. You cry a lot. You prepare from a, from a long time. So this is you come up with this product. Your presentation was nice. Only one thing is uh, lacking that you could not able to relate with our one contextual example. So if you could able to bring those examples of our context, then your presentation uh, would be more better. So with that saying, I request uh, uh, Gita ma'am. So Gita ma'am, are you there? Yes, sir. So can you able to share your screen? So I'm sharing my screen. Okay, it will display soon. Okay, now you may share your slide also. You just show your slide. Okay, art of coding. Okay, this is a nice topic. Ah, yes. Now make this screen full. Is it okay, sir? No, yes, it is okay. Okay, now over to you. Uh, now I suggest you to bring some of the example which are uh, related to our context. So your presentation will be more better. With that saying, uh, you will start. Now over to you. Okay, sir, I'll try my best. Good evening, uh, respected sir and all my colleagues, myself, Gita Devi Maharjan. Today I am here with my presentation on the topics, the art of coding. This is from the third chapter of the book, They Say, I Say, by Gerald Graff and Kathy Perkins Stein. And I request one of my friends to read the text here on the slide. I request uh, Bishnu, sir. There are two Bishnu. So you, you want to suggest Bishnu uh, Gimli, sir, or Chapa Gain, sir? Bishnu Gimli, sir. He is not here today. What is happening for him? So you may talk with Vishnu Tapagai, sir. Vishnu Tapagai, sir. Yes, sir. So, sir, I yes, request sir. you to read this text. I am going to read. Introduction. Quote. 
repeat or copy out word from a text or a speech written or spoken by someone other than the original author or speaker it is an act to quote other in a way that it helps our argument it can be more specific and useful than summarizing and the next one is quoting someone is words gives a tram 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 gives amount of credibility to your summary and helps ensure that it is fair and accurate thank you sir the here the word quote means to repeat or copy out words from a text or speech that is written or spoken by someone other than the original author or speaker yet tilak sir just has just presented here how to write the argument others into our text and not only by summarizing one of the best ways to do so is by quoting the exact words it can be more specific and useful than summarizing yes it is an art to quote others in a way that it helps our argument and here by berkenstein and graf they state that quoting someone else words gives a tremendous amount of credibility to our summary and helps ensure that it is fair and accurate okay right and Now I want to request uh, Rom Star to read the text on the topic common mistakes. While quoting others, some writers may make common mistakes, and it has some common mistakes. I'd like to request Rom Star. Rom oh, Martin Powell, sir. Are you there? Okay. Yes, I am listening to you. Uh, so slide is common mistakes. Uh, for the quoting to quoting to little, perhaps because they don't want to uh, brother going back to the original text and looking up the author's exact words, or because they think they can reconstruct the author's ideas from memory. So quoting to little uh, means from memory and over. over quoting maybe because uh, they lack uh, they lack confidence in their ability uh, to comment on the quotation or because they don't fully understand what they have quoted uh, they quoted but they don't understand what they have fully quoted yeah the interesting mm -hmm. and assuming quotations uh, speak uh, for themselves many writer assume that uh, the meaning of a quotation will be obvious uh, to their readers when often it is not just i am reading yeah uh, ma'am i have to clarify this thank okay. you thank you sir and so, some uh, writers make common mistakes while quoting and here are uh, three bullets quoting too little some writers quote too little why perhaps because they don't want to bother going back to the original text and looking up the author's exact words as tilak sir just presented that while summarizing also some uh, someone summarized too little and someone uh, summarized over likewise while quoting also someone quote too little because they think they can reconstruct the author's ideas from memory and uh, some others over quote why maybe because they lack confidence in their ability to comment on the quotations or because they don't fully understand what they have quoted and but the main problem with quoting arises when the writers assume that quotation speaks for themselves they thought that quotation stands alone because the meaning of a quotation is obvious to them but many writers assume that this meaning will also be obvious to the readers when often it is not mm -hmm. Can can you explain with some example with these ideas like uh, why common mistake happen there? Hita ma'am. Sir. Can you can you able to explain these ideas by relating with some example? Yes, 
so I have uh, uh, written examples later. Okay. Oh, oh, okay, fine, fine then. Please go ahead. And uh, we can see that quotations are orphans. Why uh, we can uh, say quotations are orphans or relate to orphans? And all of you know, I think orphans are children without parents. And here we say that quotas are orphans. And why? I'd like to uh, request Pralas sir to read the text here. Pralas sir, are you there? Yes, ma'am. I'm here, ma'am. Uh, now, can I read out the text, ma'am? Yes, yes, sir. Uh, so here is it on quotations are offense. Uh, quoting means more than simply enclosing what they say in quotation maps. And uh, quotations are offense words that have been taken from their original context and that need to be integrated into their new textual surroundings. It means uh, quotation, uh, justly, just quotation originally should not take out and we should not uh, use that quotation uh, originally in our uh, text or in our uh, articles and uh, uh, the quotation should be elaborated some and we have to add some our views and our words also uh, in that uh, 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 for the view of that quotation and only that will be the uh, fruitful and that will be uh, complete otherwise uh, the quotation uh, uh, what uh, quotation should we have taken from what context and uh, we have used that quotation in our text uh, that will be plagiarism as well as uh, that will be uh, meaningless also. I think uh, this slide, uh, the summary of the uh, uh, view of this slide is uh, that uh, in my opinion. Ben? Thank you, sir, for clarifying the topic. An orphan a child who lost his or her parents and they have to accommodate with new place and people. Likewise, quotations as orphans, the words that have been taken from their original context and that need to be integrated into their new textual surrounding so that uh, we can say that quotations are orphans. And how to progress integration? There are two key ways. And I would like to request uh, Prema Ma'am. Prema Ma'am, are you there? To read the text? Yes, ma'am. I'm listening to you. Yes, I request you to read the text here. <coughs> two key two key ways to produce in integration by choosing quotation wisely with an eye to to how well they support a particular part of your text by surrounding every major quotation with a frame uh, it means explaining whose words are they whose words they are what uh, the quotation means and how the quotation relates to your own text uh, what they say uh, must always be connected with it, what you say. Thank yes. you, Prabhupada. Uh, we will read your text uh, one by one. Uh, you explain only, ma'am. It is not necessary to read again. You explain only. We read already this. Okay, thank you, ma'am. Yes, yeah, here are two key ways to produce integration, and one is by choosing quotation wisely. How can we choose quotation from the others? that with an eye to how well they support a particular part of our text. And uh, next is by surrounding every major quotation with a frame. We, uh, we should surround the major quotation with a frame. That means explaining whose words they are, what the quotation means, and how the quotation relates uh, to our own text. And what they say must always be connected with what you say. That means. Mm, while choosing quotation and inserting in our text, we should make a frame. Okay? Now I would like to request uh, Bhumi sir to read the text here on the topic course relevant passages. Hello, Mr. are there? Hello, are you listening? Hello? 
He is not here. Please, you may choose other other friends. Okay, Tilak sir. Okay. Ah uh, yes, ma'am. <clears throat> I request you to read the text here. Uh, yes, <clears throat> I will try to read. Uh, uh, quite uh, relevant passages. How to choose quotes uh, wisely? Make sure the quote is relevant to your argument. Uh, don't just add a quote uh, to fill space. Uh, continue to change your Uh, quotes uh, yes you uh, revise your work okay uh, to choose quotes wisely before selecting appropriate quotations we need to have sense of what we want to do with them that is how they will support our text at the particular point where we are inserting them we should be careful not to select just for the sake of demonstrating that we have read the author's work we need to make sure that they support our argument and we should continue to change our course as we revise our work sometimes quotations um, that were initially relevant to our argument becomes less so as our text changes during the process of writing and revising and we may sometimes think that we have found the perfect quotation to support our argument only to discover later on as our text develops that our focus has changed and the quotation no longer works it can be sometimes misleading so when we are deeply engaged in writing and revising process there is usually a great deal of back and forth between our argument and any quotations we select and next how to present our course here i would like to request ratna sir to read the text here how yes. to present our course how to present uh, present your course uh, in first word build a frame around the quote to make the meaning clear to the reader next don't leave it dangling like a heat and run as described by uh, step benton and last to one without a frame the art can can be lost okay thank you sir we yeah, after finding relevant quotations we need to present them in a way that makes their relevance and meaning clear to the readers since quotation do not speak they cannot stand alone for themselves we need to build a frame around the quote to make the meaning clear to the reader and don't leave it dangling here dangling means to uh, uh, that uh, that means insert it into a text without a frame or without any explanation and hit and run uh, i think the phrase is obvious and and the word is described by steve benton and for this i have tried to upload video but not able and neera sir should i uh, what 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 can i help you ma'am uh, should i uh, yeah upload the video from youtube to uh, clarify the word hit and run from youtube you can run you can run so if that okay. is worthy it is okay you can able to see do not worry you simply run it play it okay so is it seen the video do not worry please go ahead we can yes see. Are you able to see the video? Yeah, but no sound. No sound. Yes. Yes, yes no sound, but uh, yeah. Okay. Here, the uh, one of the car is. Uh, mm. 
the word hit and run here i have uh, showed one videos mm -hmm. and uh, one of the teacher steve benton's also calls these uh, hit and run quotation liking them as to car accidents in which the driver speeds away and avoids taking responsibility for the dent mm -hmm. uh, in a fender or a smash tail lies mm -hmm. as in the video here uh, so we should not leave it dangling like heat and drawn as uh, described by Steve Benton. And we should take responsibility or explain. And since without the frame, the argument can be lost. Okay, that is your theme. Okay. Yes. Please go ahead. What is happening? You may go ahead. Okay, sir. And now I'd like to read uh, one of my colleagues to read the text here. And I request um, Stisa, are you there? <coughs> Excuse me? Yes. I couldn't see, ma'am, today I have problem in net, very slow, so I couldn't see your screen. Just listening your voice only. Okay, sir. Then uh, become sir. Are you able to see the screen? Hello, become sir. Yes, ma'am. Are you able to see the slide here? Just I have joined here because of net problem. Okay, I request you to read the text here on the topic example of uh, hit and run quotation. Hello? Hello? Janak sir, are you there? I think Bikram sir is not listening. Hello Janak sir. <coughs> yes madam, I am here. Okay. I have to read this text. I yes, have sir. to read this. Yes okay. sir, yes. yes I request you to okay. read the text. Okay. Uh, yes, what is, oh, yeah. Example of the hit and run quotation. Uh, now I am going to read what is very clear. Susan Bodo writes about woman and dieting. Fiji is just <clears throat> one example. Until the television was introduced in 1995, the island had no reported cases of eating disorders. In 1998, three years after programs from the United States of Britain began broadcasting their 62% of the girls surveyed reported dieting. I think Roto is right. Another point Brodo makes is that, dot, dot. Yes, this month. Yes, the uh, example of heat and drawn quotation, I said this is heat and drawn quotation, right? because since this uh, writer fails to introduce the quotation adequately or explain why he finds it worth quoting, readers will have a hard time reconstructing that Bordeaux argues. He here simply abandoned the quotation in his head to zoom on to another point. So this is uh, one of the examples of heat and non quotation. And next, how to correctly frame a quotation. I request uh, again Pralat sir, how to correctly frame a quotation, will you Read uh, the text here. Okay, ma'am. 
okay how, how to, to correct me from the quotation uh, that is question think of this as a making of quotation sandwich top layer introductory claim explain who is speaking and set up what the quotation says middle layer quote that is detail and example bottom layer follow up statements explain what the quotation says and analyze why it is important holding it uh, all together uh, it means uh, okay. the uh, main theme of this uh, slide or uh, this uh, how to correctly frame quotation is uh, first of all uh, uh, sandwich sandwich has also three layers and uh, like sandwich we have to use quotation uh, that is first of, first of all for the top layer introductory claim explain who is speaking and set up what is quotation says first of all we have to know the meaning uh, yeah. what does this quotation says what we have chosen the quotation the chosen quotation uh, first of all we have to know about that is that suitable in our context or in our article or not first of all we have to know and second middle layer is detail and example and we have to further uh, for further information and further for clarification we have to know we have to read out the details and examples also and we have to sort the detail and example also in other research sources also and the uh, last one that is bottom layer follow up statement it means uh, we are now we are going to use uh, the uh, quotation that is explain what the quotation say then analyze why it is important holding it all together it means why that quotation is important in our context in our article in our uh, in our uh, what uh, uh, that uh, article and what we are going to say and uh, uh, by that quotation uh, our article or our writing uh, should make legitimate and interested and for that we have to use choose and we have to uh, use the quotation i think uh, the, this slide says that man Okay, thank you, Sir Tudir, and as well as clarify the tops how to correctly frame a quotation. Here, to adequately frame a quotation, we need to insert it into what we like to call a quotation sandwich with the statement, introducing it serving as a top slice of a bread, and the explanation following is serving as the bottom slice. The introductory or lead in claims should explain who is speaking and set up what the quotation says. The follow up statements should explain why you consider the quotation to be important and what you take to say as in sandwiches there are top layer middle layer and bottom layer and while uh, writing quotation um, there should be introductory claim quote and follow up statement next uh, there are some templates for introducing quotation and i'd like to request again prema ma'am to read the text here. Hello, Prima, ma'am. Okay, ma'am. Uh, templates for introducing quotations. X, X states, not all, what is this means, should be banned from sports. As a um, prominent philosopher X put it, dot, 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 according to X, dot, 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 within inverted comma or quotation marks, X himself writes, dot, 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 uh, in X views, dot, 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 uh, X agrees with C rights, when C rights, dot, 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 <laughs> in our book, dot, 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 X maintain that, dot, dot, uh, here is, uh, from this dot, dot, uh, I have understood that um, we should write the actual um, seeing of uh, author in this format. Am I right, ma'am? Uh, no, you, uh, the, these are only templates for introducing quotation and what type, what type of bar should we use while introducing our quotation? like states, uh, pools, according to X, rise, views, argues, maintains, and complication for the when C rise. Uh, these sorts of buffs we should uh, write while introducing quotation. Yes, ma'am. It okay. means um, within quotation marks, we should uh, write actual saying of the writer. Am I right? Yes. Yes, yes. Yes. Yes, yes. yes. go ahead, Yes, and before uh, that quotation, and we have to write the these sorts of boss here. Yeah? Okay. okay, go ahead, ma'am. Okay. And here are some templates for explaining quotation, and I would like to request Ratna sir. Ratna sir. 
Hello? Yes, madam, I am. Yes, I request you to yes, yes. on the slide. Yes. Are you able to see? Templates for uh, spinning, Excel. yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I am, yes, I am, I am seeing first. First one bullet. Uh, templates for explaining quotation. Uh, basically, basically X is a warning that the proposed solution will only make the problem wrong. Worse, sorry. A second, in other words, X believe that in making this uh, comment, X argue us, us to that X is a corroborate. Uh, Corroborating, uh, sorry, uh, corroborating the age old adds that, does that X point X X point is that did it? The essence of X argument is that that it, that's. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Yeah, the, for explaining quotation, we should uh, insert verbs like warning. And beliefs and orgies corroborating and explains is that x argument said x is somebody and to explain their quotation we should write these sorts of verbs okay please go ahead okay now i would like to request uh, yeah, please go ahead. go ahead, go ahead. Now you may continue. Blend the author's words with their own. Mm. Okay, the earlier passage on Bodo might be revised using some of these moves. Just I presented here one of the example of Bodo, and the this passage on Bodo might be revised using some of these moves, like the feminist philosopher Susan Bodo deplores Western media's obsession with female thinness and writing. Our basic point is that increasing numbers of women across the globe are being led to see themselves as fat and in need to a diet. Ultimately, Bordeaux complains the culture of dieting will find you regardless of where you live. Here, this framing of the quotation not only better integrate Bordeaux's words into the writer's text, but also serves to demonstrate the writer's interpretation of what Bordeaux is saying. In effect, the framing creates a kind of hybrid mix of others' words and those of the writer. And blend the author's words with uh, your own. This means while uh, making a frame, first of all, we should uh, state the quotation of uh, original author, and then uh, we have to we have to explain what he is saying and make the frame that creates a kind of hybrid mix of author's words and those of the writer. Now we will over-analyze a quotation. The most explanatory framing is needed for quotation that may be hard for readers to process quotations that contain hidden complexities. And it is better to risk being overly explicit about what you take a quotation uh, to mean then to leave the quotation dangling and your readers in um, doubt. Uh, uh, like in the previous example, the framing of the quotation uh, not only better integrate Bodo's words into the writer's state, but also serves to demonstrate the writer's interpretation of what Bodo is saying. And uh, um, we should over-analyze the quotation, but not uh, leave the leave the quotation dangling and uh, uh, so that our readers uh, is in doubt and how not to introduce quotations and here are some redundant and misleading introductory phrases like orwell asserts an idea that a quote by shakespeare says and these are reason, redundant and misleading quotation, and these uh, phrases can be written as Orwell asserts that, or Orwell's assertion is that, or as the prominent philosopher Shakespeare puts it, or in Shakespeare's own views, 
Likewise, uh, we should uh, write, uh, uh, we should not uh, uh, write the redundant and misleading introductory phrases. Thank you, sir. Now, I want uh, feedback and any queries from you. Hello? Hello? Yes, uh, ma'am? Yes, sir, I have finished my presentation. Yeah, do not worry with that. Namaste, ma'am, namaste. I am coming again. Uh, do not worry, ma'am. You do have both feedback as well as some suggestions. Uh, Romerson, sir, I'll uh, I'll let you later on. Just wait for us. Uh, now, uh, I just want to ask you a question regarding art of coding. So, okay. what is your own understanding when you uh, did uh, this presentation regarding quotation? Um, uh, quotation that. Um, that the word quotation that means to uh, repeat or to uh, write the other's view words uh, and we should insert uh, them in our own text and uh, make uh, by making frame like sandwich <laughs> and there are three layers uh, uh, the top layer middle layer and uh, bottom layer and sandwich we have to also make the uh, make uh, frame uh, first of all by uh, introductory introduction parts and uh, some details and examples of the authors what they say mm -hmm. and and what uh, they what's their meaning and what they are trying to say uh, we have to explain it by our own words that means what is that is your understanding yes. so what sort of uh, like protesting uh, technique are uh, introduced there? Did you able to identify what are the best skills necessary for quotation? Mm. How to how to write quotation, sir? How to so, correctly? So what what are some like categories, some technique uh, while doing quotation? Um, first of all, we have to um, introduce claiming or explain who is speaking uh, or set of quotation and then follow up the statement explaining why quotation is important to our argument or what, why we take it to say, what we are taking that quotation to say, uh, like that, sir. So, did you did you read other material as well, or do you just limit on this? Uh, no, sir, I haven't read. Fine. I just limit the text here. So, can you see one slide in your screen? Can you able to see my screen in your? desktop or laptop? Uh, no, sir. Not yet? Not. Oh, I have this Yes, sir. No? Okay. Yes, sir. Put some sandwich. So, so did you, I, what, what is your thought when you see this? Yes, uh, quotation sandwich, uh, uh, the Top slice of the page is presenting that that is introductory statement, and the middle layer is quotation, and the bottom layer is about explanation. Like in sandwich, sand there are three layers. We have to also um, quote others um, by first of all. Into, um, Can you, can you see one slide again there? Hmm? Can you able to see slide? 
Okay, wait, wait, because the hamster has not. He just. Okay, can you able to see one slide here? Yes, sir. Yes. So can can you able to identify the difference between summarizing so and quoting? Don't tell. The quotation helps show readers the point the author is making. Telling means summarizing. Famous author Bell Hooks believes our society disciplines children inappropriately. Showing means quoting. Mm. At the uh, author Bell Hooks. Every day, thousands of children in our culture are verbally and physically abused and murdered. So, what is your uh, what is your understanding earlier, and what you could able to uh, get insight from this slide? Mm. Uh, I understand that quotings. <laughs> is um, direct like direct speech of uh, authors hmm. and summarizing means indirect speech <laughs> okay very good <laughs> okay like uh, is it is it so sir not exactly but to some extent it is true like okay. uh, summarizing means telling something exactly yes. what is happening over there quoting means showing the entire uh, like entire event uh, through writing so what is exactly happening there so one is showing and one is telling yes so i just want to show you one slide again so okay. can you able to see one slide again yes sir so can you able to identify just uh, go to first and last let it be for paraphrase uh, later on using the words of others one of the most important features of academic writing is the use of the words and ideas from written sources to support the writer's own points. There are essentially three ways to incorporate words and ideas from sources. Direct quote, using the words of the author directly. Paraphrase, putting the author's words into your own words. And summary, identifying the main ideas of the text. So now, what yes. you could able to understand from these three uh, highlighted, um, okay, bullets? Yes. Um, direct quote means as uh, the author states there, and we we uh, insert the text see, uh, same as the authors um, have written. Mm -hmm. And paraphrasing means uh, putting the author's words into our own words. That means. Uh, meaning, meaning same and uh, text may be uh, changed. And summary means identifying the main ideas of the text. And yes, uh, that means to uh, to write uh, uh, different points or different ideas uh, with uh, our own view with one point. That means summary. Okay, okay, good, good. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Now, I think you could able to understand regarding uh, uh, quoting. So, but uh, your main core focus is art of quoting. What sort of uh, artistic thought is necessary in quoting? So, in my workshop, I try my best to incorporate this concept also. So, please stay with us. Now, I'll show you one example uh, regarding the this concept. So. Uh, all of you, please uh, read this once. Uh, for, so this is for the short five minutes time. Uh, please read it. And thereafter we'll discuss about it, and we'll go for the discussion uh, of the presentation uh, did by um, Gita Man. Can one of you voluntarily uh, help me by reading this text? Yes. Uh, may I, sir? Okay, okay, please. Okay, original passage. Students frequently overuse direct quotation in taking notes, and as a result, they overuse quotations in the final research paper. Probably only about 10% of your final manuscript should appear as directly quoted matter. Therefore, you should strive to limit the amount of exact transcribing 
of source material while taking notes. Lester James D. Writing, this is paper, second edition, 1976, 4647. Mm -hmm. And next, uh, legitimate paraphrase. In research papers, students often quote excessively, failing to keep quoted material down to a desirable level. Since the problem usually originates during note taking, it is essential to minimize the material recorded verbatim, lesser four six four seven, and acceptable summary. Students should take just a few notes in direct quotation from sources to help minimize the amount of quoted material in a research paper, um, lesser uh, four six four seven, or uh, plagiarized version. Students often use too many direct quotations when they take notes, resulting in too many of them in the final research paper. In fact, probably only about 10% of the final copy should consist of directly quoted material. So it is important to limit the amount of source material copied while taking notes. Okay, you thank you so much for your reading. So like, uh, so you, you could able to identify what is original passage? So, lazy mate paragraph means the same thing but writing little differently and acceptable summary means the, this thing uh, what it has written in original passage is just drag out and plagiarized version means everything is copied. There is no any artistic thought or artistic writing of the writer. So, this is one example. In this example, you can able to find. So, our core focus is an acceptable summary how could we how could we able to write in acceptable summary format so in next class uh, uh, in this academic writing there will be one workshop regarding uh, this uh, so still i want to discuss with paraphrasing uh, did we discuss about paraphrasing after paraphrasing it will be better did we discuss no sir, this is my topic. Oh, oh. No, so, paraphrasing, sourcing, reference example. Oh, you, you, when this model will over, then only it will be easier. Okay, sir. This one of my. Do not worry. My auto you model is okay, but I'll conduct one workshop uh, regarding using this all entire uh, ideas. So now let's go to the feedback session for the uh, Gita man. So Gita man. Yes, sir. So now uh, your presentation was nice, uh, but uh, your main core is all about art of quoting. So you you brought um, a lots of example uh, like you also faced the same problem like you are just limited in the paper and you brought the examples from the same paper. So uh, so that is uh, that could not help our reader to understand what is exactly uh, quoting is all about. So, so from the next presentation, I suggest you to uh, bring the our contextual example uh, in e even in academic writing also that helps to understand the context so differently. And other thing, it is okay uh, as for uh, my view. So now let me welcome some of our friends for a quick summary and some suggestion. Uh, so for that, I request uh, Lila sir. Lila sir. Are you there? Okay, he's, he's not, his network is not supporting today. Uh, now I request uh, Romerson Corden, sir. Romerson, sir. Hmm. Oh, internet is working or not? I am in doubt. Other, other, sir. Okay, Romerson sir. So yes, like, sir yes. uh, can you quickly summarize uh, the presentation uh, did by our Gita ma'am and will you be able to add some of your insight uh, from our presentation or like if you have some suggestion feedback for or to improve further, uh, can you able to suggest? Uh, thank you sir. Uh, the presentation of uh, Gita ma'am was uh, about the quotation. Uh, and uh, I have uh, listened her uh, properly, and uh, I am interesting about uh, the uh, you know sandwich, and uh, the sandwich and uh, the sandwich which uh, you have 
uh, send us i have download from this also uh, but uh, uh, from this uh, understanding uh, that is uh, there are three parts uh, there are three parts in uh, how to quote uh, how to quote uh, and the uh, one uh, part is uh, that is uh, in the sandwich quotation sandwich uh, that is introductory statement uh, is the beginning uh, where we put cherry in uh, above the sandwich and uh, another part is the middle part that is when bolvada solvada bicha putting that is uh, quotation part yes and uh, another last part is uh, the explanation part i understand this uh, quotation sandwich that must be uh, so how to quote um, and uh, from quotation is the saying of the others um, saying of the others explaining the saying of the others explaining in one statement writers in one statement is uh, called paraphrasing and according to you uh, according to sir that is uh, paraphrasing summarizing and quotation there are three steps uh, so paraphrasing uh, paraphrasing is important i understand from this uh, from sir's presentation and but uh, uh, so quotation that is orphan quotation uh, so orphan quotation there is uh, nothing uh, so quotation is orphan i have understood quotation is orphan त्यो अरूबाट ल्याइएको अब त्यो टुरो जस्तो यता नै हुँदैन उता नै हुँदैन त्यो भएर कोटेसन भनेको चाहिँ यसलाई कसरी कोट गर्ने भन्ने कुरा र त्यसलाई व्याख्या गर्न सकिएन भने त्यसले मिनिङ दिँदैन भन्ने कुरा चाहिँ मैले बुझेको उहाँको प्रेजेन्टेसन भएर लोक मेरो रिफ्लेक्सन यति नै हो सर इसो हे अलग कोटेसन में थोड़े हमने काम कर डुनट वो अब इसका विभिन्न टाइप कसरी करने डाइरेक्ट कोट कसरी होना सकता है कोटिंग मीन्स जस्ट ब्रिंगिंग दी राइटर्स ओपिनियन इन एक्जेक्ट हो क्या ओरिजिनल इंटिटलाइजिंग कसरी लियाने भाई कुछ इसमें हम अलग प्राइमरी कोटेसन सेकेंडरी कोटेसन के बारे में अलग थोड़े डिस्कस कर पेपर में सब कुछ अलग ड्रइंग सब कुछ सर्फेसली मात्र पाए मैं अलग इसमें थोड़े चार्पिंग करने देखिए so thank you so much for your sharing romar sir uh, so your insight and your reflection as well so now i want to uh, request uh, mm, moisture professor so like uh, what he is uh, what he could able to uh, share his on this thing regarding the coding technique so yes sir uh, so can you able to explain few of the ideas that uh, you learn from the presentation of uh, हेलो यस यस सर गीता मैडम ने राम प्रेजेंट कर बुझे कोटेशन को स्वयं अथवा भ्यू अफ अथर्स एस हो तो जस्ता जस्त लेखने भाई कुछ हम कोटेशन को मैं कुरा अंतर्गत अब डायरेक्ट कोट पाराफ्रेजिंग समरी का कुरा सर ने बताने भो मैं बुझे सर ठीक है अब व्हाट इज व्हाट इज यूज अफ दिस कोटिंग इन एकेडेमिक राइटिंग के जस्ट लगे तब व्हाट यू थिंक फर दैट यस दैट इज अ लिंक अफ लिंक लिंक अफ राइटिंग कोटेशन गिव द लिंक अफ राइटिंग इन इन फैक्ट और इविडेन्स of uh, evidence of uh, writing topics okay good sir good okay thank you so much thank you so much roman sir uh, roman sir sir bancha ma sir sir sare tapai ko pani alikati i the how can we able to reflect our thought hai na tya bhako kura lai kasari telling garni first your work is to telling telling means summarizing tes pachi tapai ko reflect garni writing garni reporting garde aune so that is fine just so if you see one uh, section uh, i discuss earlier so first you have to tell something tell garnu paru ni that is summarizing je bhai raha cha jasta ko tastai bhanne then you have to show that when you start doing saying tyo bhaneko quoting garnu lagnu parcha quoting le saying ke bhancha ta usko exact version ke cha ta tyo situation ke cha ta jasta ko tastai फोरम अब राइटिंग में लियान पर्व अब यह कसरी लियाने भाई कुछ हम वर्कसप में डिस्कस कर सो 
thank you so much now uh, at the end of today's session so i want to um, share some of uh, the talks that you have to finish by the next week uh, so for that i want to share my screen and if anyone have any question to ask i feel free to ask so this is learning process so with this process you may able to uh, sharpen your understanding so so for that next week i just want to start so at the beginning also uh, i start with the same slide uh this is week 4 and we are at the end of the week 4 for today uh so i request uh, many of our friends has already done this task so simply write your quick uh, understanding do not write everything so what you could able to grab what is the gist now you have to tell something you have to tell means you have to summarize something so write simply write summary of the uh, paper do not write everything so that could be a 100 word 200 word do not go with the 500 words write catchy so that every uh, reader will understand and they will be uh, motivated in your writing so here are five eight simple few tasks like la4 la5 la6 la7 and la8 i suggest you to finish uh, with the, by the next week because uh, after the 18 march we will we'll be having the another model so there will be few tasks on it so this is learning and collaborative activities that you have to accomplish uh, within one two weeks assessing progress uh, this week uh, this is quiz 2 test your knowledge uh, model 1 there are 10 objective question related to academic writing and even they are related with the papers that we have discussed earlier in module 1 so you can easily do that so quickly finish that and now uh, you have to you keep on writing about the assignment also so in assignment there are two version of question the so one is for those who have the experience of uh, uh, writing the academic writing papers and other is that those who do not have that experience those who do not have this academic writing experience they can reflect uh, from the papers that we have discussed in model 1 so they simply related they feel they inside them and they plan for what how they are going to accomplish any academic writing project and lastly there is learner's evaluation of learning so each model there is always the learning evaluation model so your response is all anonymous so like uh colleague ki gore bhanne kura i do not know so your response is anonymous so do not worry to respond them so you be critical thoughtful and suggest me uh, that is for myself and for uh, yourself as well we discussed today we discussed about uh, this three papers uh, firstly uh, about uh, this uh, free from errors grammar and some mechanics uh, from the apl manual so this is little technical so we, we will be discussing this again uh, now and then next we discuss about the art of summarizing uh, this was done by telesar telesar and he present uh, well but uh, its examples were not as for our context and lastly gita nan city uh, presentation on the art of quoting uh, so from the same book uh, like this i say and i then finally we are at the end of the today's session so i i, I just allocated some time to complete the some tasks of model 1 that we could not able to finish and next week i request uh, uh, bishnu tapagai sir uh, he is going to uh, share some of the knowledge from the paper paraphrasing and use of synonyms why those synonyms are necessary and why paraphrasing is necessary in academia so what are its features so you will be discussing on it and i suggest the business sir to bring uh, some of the our contextual examples so that our friends will understand uh, that what you have planned for it and for that i suggest the business sir to submit uh, or uh, submit his slides uh, before uh, saturday so that i could able to suggest him and a last presentation for next week will be uh, second in second session Uh, crediting sources so like uh, how to do citation how to do referencing some sort of technical this is also more technical and the technical section will uh, present by janak nepanesan uh, from the ep manual and if time support for us uh, i'll i'll uh, share some of the tips and technique uh, 
uh, while being uh, while writing in academia. Uh, so for that, uh, I'll I'll conduct one short workshop with time support. If not, uh, after the presentation uh, uh, from the okay. Uh, so in next very next week, we have very short type of paper. So on that section, uh, I'll conduct one workshop uh, regarding academic writing. With that saying, so like uh, if anyone friends have any question, uh, uh, so give me a. Uh, otherwise, excuse so me, sir. Excuse me. Yes. Excuse me, sir. Yes. yes. Uh, you have just said that coding is art or uh, technique. And are there any rules to quote? Okay, there are no any hard and fast rule, but uh, quoting uh, always helps to just bring the ideas what is originally out there. Yeah? So this much such a thing is rules. I know I'm a person. My workshop my take for a regular one. So as for the writer. Different writer had suggested differently. Yeah? So yes, I'm a limit on the side. But when you read it, if you are not convinced with that writer, writer, you have to go to other writer who is who is going to convince you regarding it. Do you have any other alert on your side? Either did you understand? Ah, ठीक है तो मैं जो कॉन्सेप्ट में मैं मॉडर्न आर्ट कर रहा हूँ ये लोग मॉडर्न के इन कोडिंग वाले कोड कोडिंग वाले कुछ नॉर्मली कोड करते हैं अभी तो सेमिस्टर में हम लोग एट लास्ट ईयर में कोटिंग करने थे नहीं कोटेशन करने कोटेशन में बस ब्रिंगिंग दी सम स्लॉट यहाँ आउट दिया थे यहाँ बाकी इनफॉरमेशन लाई यहाँ ले आ रहा रात में अब तो राइट राइटिंग में तो कुछ भी आर्टिकुलेस्टिक बनाने पर नहीं तो डेट इज योर स्किल नाउ फाइनली uh, reflex writing means our personal writing or our uh, personal experience. So uh, I have understood that we should not mention reference and citation in reflex writing. Am I right, sir? Uh, but being a, being as an academician, like I suggest you to use all citation also. You can use use the referencing technique also, so that you could able to enhance your skill further. So that is just the beginning practice. So I suggest. But reflex writing means what, sir? Personal view. I think it is personal view of a writer. Okay. Sometimes while you are writing, also you need to cite something. When you are writing, also you may use his or her sources. So in that case, so what you are going to do? I know. Sir, there is assignment one. There is reflex writing. So I have um, written my experience only. In my own words, so I have not mentioned citation and reference. But my works is. Um, Uh, draft till now, sir. Why, sir? I know you. So last time I have uh, planned to take your first draft, then second draft. So now I switch that again. So you may resubmit again. Okay, sir. When you resubmit it, ah, uh, okay, I'll see it and I'll provide you necessary feedback. Do not worry with that. Okay, sir. I will correct after uh, feedback, sir. Okay, sure, sure. It is fine. Thank you, sir. Okay, okay. Now, uh, so any any friends have any question? Sir, yes, sir. Yo, slide banana da hi raha. Jale dekho material banda baire wada shroot jute aur ne sa kiya ni sir. Sa kya banana? I'll help you. Do not worry. Just ma tab masai gari aapne toh. जिंग They are calling for the friends to read the text. Yes, uh, uh, that is uh, in my view, and it wastes the time. Although it active the uh, participant, but uh, I think uh, if the friends they can read themselves, it's good better for well because all the all the participant will present their own. So why need to save the friends? For reading the text, I don't, I don't understand, sir. Actually, okay, yes. better or not, I don't know. Yeah, sometimes, uh, okay, that is also fine. In some moment, like not all to all slides, so like a few slides, uh, they can suggest friends to read. It is fine. But when 
Yeah. Entire slides, uh, if you yeah, point are pointing there. From you are being yeah, sometimes that's fine because actually we have the friends the whether they are listening or not. That fine. I also support that. No. Well, all the texts are read. For the, 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 I don't. I don't understand why they are doing this. Okay. Okay. That that is that is a different package. So so from next week, uh, this may uh, so we may reduce some section. Do not worry with that. So that your your issue is fine. So I also realize and I interpret with and interrupt with Gita ma'am today. So I I think she will not mind for that. So like continuously uh, seeking the help from friends is not so good. So thank you so much for your this uh, sharing. Uh, I also realize earlier. Thank you very much. Any other? Sir, mere mere kura hai uta. You have presentation ka duita banda. Aur aur saath hi three four jana ko rahe rahe chhano ya sakno baaye aur aur sajil hunde ki. अभी अब सुरू सुरू में जो सुरू में करने अलग बड़ी दुख होता क्या कर पी 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 ये बिस्तार इसको स्पीड बढ़ते जाँ क्या अब हम हम कोर फोकस दुईटा क्या एवटा ते भि कंटेन्ट में के अलग सर्फेसली बुझने जल्द अलग इंट्रेस्ट होने दे कैन गो थ्रू दि पेपर एंड रिड सो थरोली होने कसले जो इंपोर्टेंट रहने तेल प्रिंट कर डकुमेंट कर अब जिसको प्रेजेंटेशन पालो वहाँ इंटायरली डेवलप कर लैंग्वेज में लियान हूँ दैट इज अल्सो फाइन सो इसमें यही कर वही कर भर अलग सकते हैं तब ठीक है अलग पच्चीस हम अलग अलग लिया अलग छोटा छोटा पेपर में मिलता पछाड़ी को जो प्रेजेंटेशन टपिक मेटेरियल छे अंदर सर अलग टाइम लगता क्या अलग मोडल सुरू भोड हो जाए अब वी आर जस्ट इन मोडल टू में छो मैं अलग थोड़े मलिक अलग एमबीसी भैस मैं थ्री पैला पोस्ट करें क्या टू लाइक कर टू न थ्री भाषा ये थ्री सके फिर टू में फर्क अभी टू को आसो कर इट विल बी इजी अभी हम वो मोडल वन कम्प्लीट गये मोडल टू में छो क्या आज विक फोर में छो भर्खर विक फाइव विक सिक्स अज टू विक्स मांगी अर्क मोडल तेस पे मत हम मोडल टू में फर्क सर ये हम क्लास एवरी विक ट्यूजडे में सर हो इसको क्लास एवरी विक ट्यूजडे कई समस्या पर्यटन वी मे स्विच एंड विल मेसेज यू के खबर कर थैंक यू सर ओके हमें तेज कर समस्या पर्न सकते क्या लि भाई अरु के आज के भन्न पर्ने आज को के बुझ् भो सर सान पेपर में तब जो डिस्कसनक बेला में नोट कर बुझी जो दिखी कुरा अज सल हो अज तो तो पेपर में इंगेज भर सीक्न चाहूँ अज बेटर होता म इसमें यह सब एकडेमिक राइटिंग मेन्टेन होने करी एट रिडिंग मेटेरियल बना मैं एक दुई हफ्ता टाइम दिन होगा सो ते पीछे अच तक अंडरस्टैंडिंग बेटर होगा हम नेप्लीज कंडेक्समें रहकर मैं रिडिंग मेटेरियल रखा दी हाई तो सो दैट तब इसको प्रोसेस कस्तो के अभी तो भर्खर के हो के जो हो तो फर्स्ट टाइम पढ़ाई हो सर हजार हजार अब अरुण तो ठीक भो सर अब नौ भी बजे सर ने तीन तीन घंटा ये पढ़ाने भाई दुख कर रामले प्रेजेंटेशन में भाग लिये अब जाने बेला सर धीरे रोक्न भाई ये कतिपय विषय वस्तु अब जो अंग्रेजी लैंग्वेज हो सर हमी प्रस्तुति करना सकता है अब तो बुझने कुरा एकदम नेपाली में बुझे कोई कोई कुछ तस्त विषय तस्त लगे सर हम बोलना अर्न अब लेखना अर्न भी ये निर्वाह कर तर नेपाली में बुझ यो एकडेमिक राइटिंग में नेपाली में बुझे अंग्रेजी में लेखने वातावरण बनाने पर्ने देखने सर मैं तो अलग राइटिंग ना हम फोर फोकस हो या लेखने भोलि तो हम बजार में जानी बने को तो पब्लिश होने वाने तो हम आर्टिकल ही होना सर तेस पर कम से कम फ्रेमिंग अब ते पीछे सब कुछ अलग स्टैंडर्ड नाने भाई के पढ़े तो के एम फिल कर फिर अब आखिर यह विषय तो हजरसम बड़ी जोड़े विषय भाई तो सर एकडेमिक राइटिंग राम कर सकेन अलजेब्रा में ग्राफ थे नेटवर्क अभी मोडलिंग जोमेट्री मोडलिंग इस पर जी लिया के होने वाला छाइन सर मैं बुझे हाई सर एकडेमिशियन होना अब डिग्री मत नलेकेडेमिशियन ही होने वाले 
ग्राफ रोडलिंग नेटवर्क ग्राफ जानी बाहर पत्रिका जनरल में लेखना न सकने वो तो हम तो मं कर हम वर्क भर तो एकडेमिक राइटिंग राख राइटिंग में जर्नल राइटिंग में कत पेपर प्रेजेंटेशन ज्यादा खेल का राइटिंग में एवरीथिंग में सपोर्टिव हम सर को जी मेहनत हमें अलग बड़ी कर सर ने धेरे हमें कम कर अब इसलिए पेलना पे सर ठीक है अब मलिक वर्कसप मोडल में लग जाऊँ एक दुटा पेपर सकते अच्छ बेटर थैंक यू सो मच सी ऑन नेक्स्ट विक सो नेक्स्ट विक को प्रेजेंटर अलरेडी अलर्ट दम सो आई सजेस्ट दम टू सेंड देयर स्लाइड बिफोर सैटरडे विथ दैट सेइंग हैव अ गुड नाइट गुड नाइट सर गुड नाइट सर हैव अ स्वीट ड्रीम ओके ओके गुड नाइट सर गुड नाइट सर गुड नाइट सर बाय सर